It says we're live. So hello everyone. Welcome back to the Snuggly Support Sprints. Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can try and get everyone. Uh, hello. Oh, someone zoom in with their preschoolers for the next hour. Join us soon for like the next five, potentially six hours. So, I mean, you probably you're probably doing your Zoom call, so it's fine. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, I'm a little, little, little bit tipsy, not going to lie. Um, I filmed um, Play Your Tape Be All Right with a couple of strawberry daiquiris. And, um, hmm, <laughs> so I'm, feel, I'm feeling a little bit tipsy, not going to lie. Uh, went for a run, realized these sprints were happening. Need to speed up to be on time. Oh, God bless you. I, well, I'm here. I'm here for quite a few hours, so don't worry about, you know, getting here on time honestly it's fine it's fine hello 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 honestly it's so nice to be back i was i missed doing this last monday i really did especially since after book up -thon weekend there was just non-stop non-stop live after live after live so it was it, it was just a thing wasn't it so i was so well not exactly fatigued but um I just had a little bit of a, I just need to lie down and get my head and, you know, it's sorted because I'd also had a lot of sour candy over the weekend and I had thrown up over the weekend. Not that you guys really needed to know that, but it was just, it was a great weekend, don't get me wrong. But wow, it drained me. So I was not right on Monday. Also, yes, um, let me know what everyone is reading or doing during these sprints. You don't need to read anything. You can just chill. You can do some writing. You can do some laundry and all of that. I apologize that this is going to be a little bit shaky because I'm on my bed. It's still super bright outside because the clocks went forward. So it's not like my usual darkness kind of thing um so it will get darker eventually <laughs> it's just it looks pretty bright now hello hello finding on the same time zone Ooh, that's good nina i mean for how long for how long hello everyone um so yeah that's pretty much what i've done today let me know what you guys have been doing because yeah i just wanted to get play your tbr right done so i can premiere it tomorrow and honestly i'm not spoiling it for anyone but it was absolute chaos it was just non-stop chaos hello oh, i'm so glad it's your first one here i hope it's not your last hello hello um so yeah that's what oh reading 11 22 1963 that is a chunk stungly supports for monday we're back i do wish i had to save my strawberry daiquiris for this but honestly, it just went down such a treat. But saying that, there was still a frozen strawberry that was whole in the end product. So I didn't I didn't do it all that well, to be honest. Still tasted great though. Hello, hello. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Uh hello from Indiana. Nice. Hello to you too. Oh, and you say hello to Becca's mum for me. Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. Um so just while I'm getting everybody's hellos, honestly, it's just nice for the company on a Monday night, isn't it? Again, we're combating the Monday blues. Uh, pina coladas, getting caught in the rain. Yeah, make some, make some. Uh, that's what I want to try next, because obviously I've mastered doing strawberry daiquiris, you know, because I'm just great at them. Next, I want to do pina coladas. So... I need to look up some recipes and get on that tipsy gaff. I mean, and uh, so what I'm going to do during these sprints is I'm going to try and do some editing. I want to try and edit my play or tape. All right. I don't think being tipsy for it is the best idea, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. It is a chaotic video, mind. So it would only be fitting, wouldn't it? Tipsy gaff is the way to go. To be fair, I was not. I started getting a bit tipsy during the last ones two weeks ago when I made my strawberry daiquiris for the first time, but I don't think I ever got to the point where I was like super, super tipsy. I do have a fruit shoot, you know, just to kind of sober me up for editing. Strawberry daiquiris always for the win. 
Yay. Honestly, I would not have managed to do two weeks without snuggly support sprints, honestly. It's just, it's become a second limb for me. A second limb. I've got more than one limb. Hmm. Um, spring break, so I can finally join for the whole thing. Oh, get in. Uh, yes. I love that. I hope you're resting. Uh, happy an hour ago. Realized it was Monday. It's it's one of those Mondays, is it? Um, got a blueberry daiquiri. Oh, my gosh. It, it, I'm sure it will match my Udi. I'm sure it will match my Udi. That's so cool. Tipsy gav. Tipsy gav. Drink some coffee. Every time I drink coffee during these sprints, I get so hot that I have to whip the fan out. I'm sweating. The Udi is not a good idea with the coffee. Um, so maybe, maybe I might make a coffee later, but I also don't want to sweat my, my bum off during this either. So, I mean, windows open, so we'll see. Yeah, I miss them too. Uh, been binging TV all day, which you never do. Chloe, what have you been binging? It must just be one of those days. We all have those kinds of days though. How much room for the daiquiri this time? Okay, so. I still put the same amount of rum in, but it does serve eight, but I have proper daiquiri glasses now. Well, I say proper daiquiri glasses. It was because I used a full cocktail glass the last time, so I had all of the daiquiri at once. But when it meant serves eight, it meant you can have eight portions out of it. So I have a proper glass for it, and I just kept topping it up. So really, I could have just kept in one cocktail glass. But at least I didn't have it all at once. <laughs> um, sorry, it jumped. Uh, oh, no, it jumped and I can't... Oh, I'm that far behind, am I? Sorry about that. Um, finally reading Midnight Library. Ooh, I hope it's good. I, uh, Matt Haig, I don't think I've read anything but the Christmas books. Reading Nevernight on Lunch Break. Reading Aragon. Reading the final book in the Bargainer series, Well of Ascension. 80 pages of Interview with a Vampire. Ooh, that's Anne Rice. And then A Cost. Hello. If I missed your comment, it's because it jumped and now it won't even let me see what's, what came through before 6 or 2, which was like five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, oh, you're not feeling too good? Oh, okay. I mean, watching I'm watching that movie with you in spirit. Reading Jade City and editing a reading blog. Nice. Reading The Great Hunt, reading Truth Witch, uh, Siege and Storm. Hello, Jennifer doing school then i'll be trying to finish lost in the neverwoods isn't that like brand new is it even out yet is that like an arc or something because that's impressive uh waiting for dinner cooking nice reading house of leaves it's a bit of a, i mean yeah it is <laughs> i've said i might try and read it in my april tbr video but we'll see because i do want to i really want to read it for the literally dead book club but at the same time i'm looking at it like and just wait till you guys say my April TBR video, honestly. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, happy birthday, Hannah. Happy birthday to you. Still reading uh, my tome of Irish fairy and folk tales. Want to fit in the boy, the fox, the mole, and the horse thingy, my Bobby book. Oh, I've heard that one's such a sad book, but it, you'll get through it quickly. Truth Witch, Percy Jackson, Night and the Thief, and the Ble Beautiful. Oh, thanks, Tracy. I know I am. <laughs> um, writing some reviews for Goodreads and my blog. Mm, I was doing all reviews during um, sprints yesterday on Jade's channel. Hoping I can finish Man the Rise and Dark, 74 pages. You will get that done. You will. Emerald Green, currently 27% in. Hoping to make a decent dent. You will. Uh, switching between editing and reading a sky beyond the storm. Good evening, Rebecca. Going to hopefully finish term paper. you got this. you got this. Reading the Wood Beyond the World, 11 a.m. 11 a.m., the usual morning lineup. <laughs> Sorry, I've got, I've got a certain 7 a.m. stong stuck in my head. I uh, hope to finish The Girl in the Tower, uh, been painting my kitchen, so we'll be putting the house back together. Ooh, that sounds like a chore. Uh, set up the new phone. Check you out getting a new phone. Fancy. Wolf Wilder and my new poem book today. Ooh, nice. Crescent City. I hope it's during some uh, steamy bits. Poppy War finished March TBR and first book of April TBR. I should probably try and finish off the books that I was reading for my March TBR, but am I going to do that? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Literally just woke up. That's fine. 
I'm happy that I'm the first face you see, or I might be second, third, I don't know. Finish watching some lectures and hopefully uh, reading the last 150 pages of Adi LaRue. Hope you enjoy. This time will be different by Misa uh, Sugira. Nice. Sleeping. <laughs> Danny. Nice. I'm jealous. Although I'm not because I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. Reading the Anarch Anarchist Club. <gasps> Trans main character. I'm there. I'm there for that. We we do live for the chaos, honestly. I'm going to dread editing this, to be honest, but I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, going to prepare some D&D. Gail of Trank the Moon. Would love to finish House of Earth and Blood. I also have to get some work done. You'll get it done. Don't you worry. Went on a walk on my Easter eggs for the weekend. Did you see how much sugar is in a cream egg? And do you know how many cream eggs I eat during Easter? Just in the one day? There's a lot. But editing is a plot, is a very big plus. Uh, start Lost in the Neverwoods. Everyone's starting this. This must have come out now. I thought it was an arc, but it must have come out now. Reading the Train to Impossible Places. Oh, I will premiere it tomorrow, maybe 7 p.m. GMT, maybe. No, BST. I need to remember. I don't know. We'll see. I want to see how far I get during these sprints. Uh, I've done the, the thumbnail for it, though. Um, I've done the thumbnail for it because I like to make a thumbnail first um, because it makes me more motivated to finish the, the video. So that's that's the thumbnail. I had to get the drink out, didn't I? Had to get the drink out. Um, are you reading Truth Witch? Having a hard time with it? I've heard, I mean, JD and F did remember when um, she first read it. So it just sounds like something you have to keep pushing through. And it might be rewarding by the end of it. City of Bones, reading for examination week. Best of luck. Time to chill. Hello. Be reading a fairy tale dystopia book. Need to finish Norse and Crosses. Ooh. Going to be writing. Yes, I love it. Writing sprints. Hello. Listen to Close to the Universe by Christina Lee. And then going to read Exile by Shannon Messenger. I don't know what book in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series that is. But, um... I'm so impressed that you made it that far. <laughs> uh, Truth Witch. Yeah, I was trying to finish Cinderella is Dead. 120 pages left. It's a quick read. I'm sure you'll get it done. Reading Cinder and finishing Anna Green Gable's graphic novel. Hi, USA. Hi, Maria. Read The Bane Chronicles. Only got two more stories left. You'll do it. Oh, my God. Is this how far behind I am? Jeez, I'm sorry. Uh, finally here at the start of a live. Yay. 6 a.m. What? It's 6 a.m.? Wow. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we'll be working on assignments for the first couple of sprints. I love it. I'm going to do a little bit of everything. Oh, my God. Check you out. Uh, reading Possession by Katie Lau. Oh, Autumn. Love you. Planet Draw had to had a bit of an R block. Oh, yes. We're going to push through that R block. We can hear you. Excellent. Catch us live. New subscribe. Oh, thank you so much, Kerry, for, for joining me and my craziness. Uh, missed you last night. I missed you guys too. I did. Hello from Texas. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful place. I'm working on an essay and I'm so happy for the company. I'm happy you're keeping me company tonight too. Hi from Wisconsin. Uh, first time watching one of your lives and excited. We're going to get everything done. Oh, another. You're reading Exile as well. So is Dem. 1 p.m. in New York. So 1 p.m. So that is five hours behind. Reading House and Serene C. Hello. Looking forward to this evening sprints. I'm looking forward to it too. We'll probably go till, like, for the, yeah, as I said, the next like five or six hours. Um, and then there's other people doing sprints at midnight GM BST. Um, so Christine from Any Endings is doing them after me, um, just like the last time. So you can always go over to them afterwards if you want to watch some sprints after. Watching this while showering, I promise I'm not a creep. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. <laughs> a great company is great. Yes. Oh, an English exam. You've got this. One day left to cancel KU, Kindle Unlimited, which I just don't use enough. I mean, same, actually. I don't think I've used Kindle Unlimited in months. So maybe I should cancel that, too. Hmm. 
Yay, I'm happy it's back too. I missed it. Just like I missed Snuggly Support Sprints. Went grocery shopping. Oh, couldn't carry a wine bottle. Had too much stuff. Next week, join with a drink. I like to see it. I'll also have a drink during the next ones, maybe. Like, just a nice little glass of wine. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be too much. I am doing, like, a whole weekend of lives. So, on Monday, it is going to be nice and chill again. It's going to be... I'm going to have a wine. <laughs> Pina colada. Uh, just spend the whole weekend not feeling great. Oh, yeah, we're going to bounce back together. Don't worry. Trying to decide whether to use these sprints to try and push through a dark and hollow star. You can. You can. 100%. Monday sprints might be my favorite because they start the week the right way. That's why I deal with them on a Monday. You know, we start high, we end high, you know. Got flat Prosecco. Flat Prosecco. Uh, don't want to waste. Uh, exactly, don't waste. And doing the uni work with it. That's amazing. Hi, Rachel. Hello. Honestly, I thought pina colada was difficult to make, but they just work. They can't go wrong. I mean, you say that. You are talking to me. I might make them for Raidathon then. <laughs> if they can't go wrong, <laughs> just watch me make it wrong. Hello. 11 a.m. where I live. So I'm in the middle of work day. You're going to use the sprints to work. Love it. Uh, thanks to Jade. I discovered the drink monster. You uh, you only just discovered that through Jade. <laughs> oh, I drink oh, Red Bull, Monster. There was something else as well that had a really colorful package. Can't remember what that was called, but I used to be obsessed with that too. Um, but I need to, I need to start sneak. That's what I need to do next. Some company that's gray Monday. It's not gray for me, so I'm sad it's gray for you. Just doing tea for granted. Um, then I'll be ready to read. Nice. Uh, copy of Amari came in the mail. Nice. Oh my god, I hope you love it. Hello, jealous. Have to wait till off work to have a drink. I mean, it makes it you have something to look forward to. Using the first few hours of this to prepare for a work meeting. Oh my gosh. Uh, prepare all you want. <laughs> we are here to help. Hello, Kylie. Um, it jumped again, so I hope I haven't missed any comments. It did. So I'm going to have... Sorry, I've probably skipped a lot. I'm sorry. It jumped again. Making lunch right now. Watching the TV show, then we'll read. Page 300, Chain of Iron. The Burning God. Oh, bless you. Exhausted after college. Have two more days until the holidays. Going to do some homework. Then read Truth Witch. Only, re uh, only reading emails for the first few sprints. That's good. That's good. Oh, Jade was here. It's cut off the messages from before this. So I can't say anything before that. So sorry about that, everyone. If I've missed your comment, reading City of Bones, reading No Name, working on an assignment for school, reading the bookshop on the show. Ooh, reading Law. I've heard mixed things about that one, but I hope you love it. Uh, what are we talking about? So I did ask what everybody was reading and what everyone's doing. During the next sprints, I do want to hear what everyone has been up to the last, was it two weeks now? It's been two weeks since the last time we spoke. Because this is all positivity, all positive vibes tonight. Uh, reading before the coffee gets cold. That looks like such a short and quick book. Not loving the first 100 pages. I mean, it's not for everyone, but if you want to see it through, maybe. Not over a bottle of lactic acid. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. Um, hope it's all sorted out now. Uh, trying to catch up for exam week. We can do this together. Not feeling well, so really nervous right now. So we need the distraction. Where he had to distract Brit. Uh, reading Honey Girl. Uh, really gets isolation vibes. Nice. Uh, doing some work on a read. The Highland Falcon Thief. Oh my gosh, I love that one. Read History of Vampires and Publisher Culture. Ooh, that sounds like is it nonfiction? Uh, yes, I'm live. Reading the Being Chronicles. Almost finished it. Ooh, good, good, good. Going to read Truth Witch, Starting House of Lee. Oh, hang on. Have I already read this? <laughs> oh, I might have already. Um, there might be more than one person reading it. I uh, need the support. I think it's because everyone's reading it for the Literary Dead Book Club, maybe. Um, oh, where's here to support? Don't you worry. Read Discovery Witches. Have today off, so we're going to enjoy some Monday Corsi sprints. Reading Akawa and Chalker. Long day at work. Waiting for boyfriend to finish cooking burgers. Oh, I'm, you're going to end up making me hungry during these sprints again. We need to stop this. We need to stop talking about food during these sprints. So songbirds and snakes, my story content and terrible reads of 2020. <laughs> to be fair, I was more just really disappointed. But 
I might try and reread it when I have lower expectations for it, maybe. Gonna be writing reviews. Nice, Charlotte. Being the date of the Triffids after I put Sun to bed. Descendant of the Crane. My, ooh, DNF it. That's not good. Yes. Uh, working now, but reading Six of Crows after work. Haven't really been reading this week. Need these sprints. In You're in class right now? <laughs> uh, make sure you pay attention to the teacher, though. Uh, reading a deal with the L King and the vibes are so good. Enemies to friends to lovers. Ooh, I like that. I love I love those vibes. Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Reading Assassin's Blade. Uh, Tangled when will my life? Yeah, that's been so in my head since Bugoblethon. Yeah, Jane is to blame for this. In fact, anytime I say something AM, it could just be like 5 AM. In fact, it could be like 5 PM. And I just think, the usual morning lineup. You know what I mean? Uh, hoping to finish the weather we, we've had. I hope you've been enjoying that. That's on my TBR. We will start sprinting in nine minutes and we'll do 45 minutes. Uh, I am 11 minutes behind on comments, though. <laughs> reading the article for class, starting the Raven King, reading Lady Audrey's Secret for my Masters. Oh my gosh, I read that one uh, for um, for uni and there was there's a moment, I'm not spoiling it, I don't think, but it's, there's a moment where a room is described as a womb and I was killing myself laughing during the class and I don't know why. It was, somebody made a pun and it was the funniest thing I ever heard in my life. I can't remember what it was though, but if you get to a womb like room, let me know. <laughs> Online conference gave me bad back. Oh my gosh, Tracy. Hope you're okay now. Has been secret. Oh, finished making Chinese food. Lovely. So excited for these sprints, be reading some, uh, starting a new book and doing some work for our course. Yeah, uh, Sarah J. Mass is like a lot to take on because you are not just taking on one book, you're taking on a series half the time. But I say it's worth it because I love, I love a lot of Sarah J. Mass books. Reading Akamath, I'm going to finish the Bourne season today. What am I reading? I'm going to be editing. I'm going to be editing is what I'm doing. So I'm not reading anything right now. I did read, I think, 17 books in March. So I'm kind of like, I've read everything I need to read. I don't need to have read anything more. So I should be okay. Court Silver Flames. I hope you love it. Animal Crossing. I was thinking of maybe playing on a game during one of these sprints too. Not today, though. I've got too much to do today. <laughs> Uh, we're going to last bit of dissertation. What do you think about Akatar being adapted adapted into a TV show? I honestly don't mind it. It's got. I'm going to reserve judgment until the very first episode airs, so then I can see how it it plays out. Because I so, for example, uh, Charmed, the TV show. I'm obsessed with the original version of Charmed. It's one of my favorite TV shows of all time, if not the favorite TV show of mine of all time. And then the reboot was announced. And I mean, I didn't like the sound of it because Charmed is just so special to me. Um, but I gave it a chance. I gave the first episode a chance and I still didn't like it. But you know what? I still gave it a chance. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with Akatar. Even if I don't like the first episode, I'm still giving it a chance. Uh, have a huge research paper due tomorrow. You're going to do this. You've got this. We're going to hold you accountable. Don't worry. Decluttering and deep cleaning my room. Already regret it. <laughs> oh, bless you. At least it'll be done. Uh, Becca said hello uh, for me, but we'll say hello again. Oh, hi. Um, hi, Sharon. Oh, it's oh, it's Becca's mom. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Reading Truth Witch. Oh, it, it took a second for me to clock on there. Uh, listening to Help a Skeleton and reading The Midwife Murders, Last Hour of Work. Um, oh, I mean, same, same. I think Lost in the Neverwoods came out on the 23rd. Oh, okay. It's, the past week has been a bit of a blur. Not going to lie. Ever since Bugoblathon, everything's been a little bit of a blur. What do you use for your thumbnails? I use Photoshop. Um, Adobe, Fo Adobe Photoshop 2021. That's what I use. I pay monthly for... Or is it Adobe? How do you pronounce it? Is it Adobe or Adobe? Because I say it, I just say Adobe. Because <laughs> it's so Adobes. <laughs> I can't believe I'm that behind though. Because <laughs> um, we're talking about the thumbnail now. Uh, oh wait, Exile is only the second book in... <laughs> I thought you got like far ahead. Um, 51 books in 2021 shows how not... Same. I think I'm on like 45, I think, so far this year. 
and I edit videos, I film videos and all of that. I've got no social life. Oh, Crazy Rich Asians and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, I've not read either of them. So go with which, because they both sound so different. Uh, whatever one you're feeling more, go for it. Killjoy, that's a really short one, isn't it? A plan in a murder mystery party, that sounds fun. Midnight Sun, The Kill Order, Obsidio, or The Silent Patient. And you couldn't have read all of them. Not read again, I've not read any of them, so I can't help. I hope people in the comments have helped you out, Carly, because I've not read any of them. But I'm just gonna say silent patient. <laughs> Sounds good. Gonna partner film crew for film school. Oh yay. Uh, congrats. 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 Walls around us at work. Gonna be re rereading Percy Jackson Say Monsters. Oh my god, this is like 30 minutes behind. Oh, it's kind of, wait, it's kind of my, oh my gosh, happy birthday. That's incredible. Happy birthday. Halfway through a Bridge of Souls. Ah, so that is in my April TBR video, but I'm not going to let you know if I won or lost that round. I'm not going to let you know. No spoilers. Going to have to read something on my Kindle. Uh, working using this as a work sprint, daylight savings. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a bit, hasn't it? The past couple of weeks, everywhere's been changed in time zone very differently. Hi, Harriet. Uh, living alone and these sprints help every Monday. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so sorry I missed last Monday. I really am. Uh, 10 a.m. here in Nevada. Did you say you're doing a whole weekend of lives? Yeah, so I'm doing um, uh, my Roshni Chokshi interview on Friday. And then I'm doing... Um, well, I mean, we've planned to do a buddy read for Dana Vipers on Mel's channel. Uh, so that'll be right after, I think, my live show with Roshni Chokshi. And then um, Readathon starts on Saturday. Um, and there's going to be some reading sprints for that as well. So we'll see what I can do as well and, um, and all of that. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, and there might be another one on Sunday as well. Um, as well. I want to make sure it's okay to say, though, because I only just got the message um like half an hour ago so i just want to make sure it's okay to say first uh not sure not sure what to read next the five invisible women or survivor song the five isn't that jack the ripper i'd say go for that maybe yeah i'm always there as well <laughs> uh so that yeah they start in like five and a half hours time oh israel my zodiac sign is taurus we'll be starting to sprint in three minutes uh oh 7 p.m the usual uh, in South Africa. Uh, actually, working just came to say hi. Reading Robinson Amber. Do, do, uh, incoming snow so snowstorm. That sounds like a perfect way to read, though. To be fair. Uh, oh, it jumped again. So I'm gonna have to read some of these newer ones. Got Saida Kish and All the Wandering Light for this evening. Amazing. And again, this is like still six months behind. Uh, Diamond Payton sounds amazing. Cat wants to say uh, he will try and force it in my closet. Uh, any, anyone with a cat? Anyone with a cat? Tin, not heard of it. Middle of the workday here in Texas. Um, Amari just arrived in the school library. Oh, yay. Going to read it one soon. Yes, you will. Read Amari, 17 books in March. Went to the library, got my husband interested in reading some Marvel graphic novels. Ooh, cool. Uh, read 11. Oh, nice. Bought Amelia Fang for my five-year-old in German today. We'll read it, though, and see if she will like it or if it's too early. Nice, nice. Uh, that's a good shout, actually, reading it first and then. Charmed is my life. Charmed is my life. And I didn't want to just assume the new one was going to be rubbish before actually watching it, even though the first one meant so much to me. And I still gave it a chance. I didn't like it, but that's absolutely fine. If people like it, then that's great. Uh, Charmed and Buffy still fave shows, both of them. And the nostalgia TV back in the 90s slash early 2000s cannot beat. Cannot beat. I'm loving all of this Charmed love. Honestly, I am. Uh, switch rooms in the house, move more stuff, just step inside for drink a little Malibu sunrise. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Adobe. Adobe, is that how you say it? Okay. <laughs> Lost in Neverwood. Oh, it came out, yeah. Uh, Nike or Nike. Is it Nike or Nike? I don't know. Adobe. Adobe. Yes, good luck. Good luck, Victoria. Uh, watched Harry Styles at the Grammys. I need to catch up on the Grammys. There's so much I need to do. Um, so I'm going to try and set up this. Oh, Taurus. Yeah, you know the Taurus. 
uh, Red 13 books. That's still amazing. That is incredible, actually. That is incredible. Uh, and yes, Raidathon is this this Saturday. Uh, are you still doing Den yeah, Den of Vipers on Friday with Mel, Jalisa, and Olivia? Um, so that'll be right after my Roshni Chokshi interview and then before Raidathon. So did you read Mina and the Undead? Um, yes, yes, um, I did. I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Loved the vibes of it. Thought it was really good. I think a lot of people enjoy it as well. Um, but it was pretty good. Um, and I'm not reading. I'm going to be editing. I'm not hot. I'm not hot on this because I haven't had a hot drink. So that's that's how I keep cool. Um, so, right, let's try and sprint. Can you guys let me know if you can hear this? Because I'm going to try see if I can edit alongside it. But I need to make sure that you guys can hear um, this as I'm editing. So, like, not hear me editing, but hear the ambience. So let me know. Let's go full screen on this. Um, can you hear anything? Let me know. I'm also going to put the banner up because we're going to sprint for 45 minutes. Right, can you hear anything? Because I put share audio. You can? Oh my god, that's amazing because I can't. Because I did something where I muted it for me and I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Yes! Okay, so that means I can actually edit. Because if, if you guys couldn't hear it, then I was just going to stack the editing and do that after the sprints and read something. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you guys can hear. Okay, I want to mute myself. Let's read for 45 or do whatever you're doing productively for 45. And just have the best start of our Sunday snuggly sprints because I love you all.
Hey everyone, how did we do? Um, I tried to come back relatively slow there so that when I pause the um, the ambience, it's just like a nice little ease back into it. Um, let me just get one of these comments before it jumps. But um, one, how did we do? And two, let me know something really positive that's happened to you this past week. Um, I want to close Final Cut Pro for now. Oops. Um, just because it makes my computer like really loud. Um, and I don't want you to just be able to hear the fan. So I'm just going to close that. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Um, so uh, I, I'll let you know how I did. So I only managed to edit two minutes. Um, and we have been spending for, what, 45 minutes? Uh, it does take me a while to edit, and it took me two minutes. Um, well, I got two minutes edited. That's that's how well I've done. Yeah. Um, I've been editing, adding little things to it. So like I've got like little icons and things. So I've just been trying to get, you know, icons with a, a transparent background and things to put on and things like that. So yeah, it's taken a little while so far. I think as well, um, it might not, the next sprint I might take ages as well with it because I used to before my computer got like almost wiped, not exactly wiped, but I lost all my files in Final Cut Pro. But um, I did have, you know, the past TBR game saved so that I can just copy and paste the text that I would put onto the screen. And um, I can't, do, I have to like start kind of from scratch now because I did skip March, but I just got my laptop back um, at the, the very end of February, start of March. So I'm, pre I'm pretty much starting the TBR game um, text and stuff from scratch. Um, so how did you all do? And what's one positive thing that happened over the last two weeks? Uh, let me know. I had a chemistry lesson and now we are moving to a physics one. Yeah, that's very productive. Um, it jumped. Oh, phew, I thought it got rid of all the comments there as well, but it didn't. It didn't. Um, hello, thanks for joining. Uh, 33 pages of Cerulean C. And I'm good. I was a little bit tipsy. I'm sobering up now because I am editing Play Your TBR, right? And yeah, I've only got like two minutes edited in 45 minutes. Solved 100 MCQ. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, build four training decks. Oh, wow. Uh, creepy smile instead of jumpy sounds. Oh, yeah, just like. How did you do? Sorry, I probably scared a lot of people there. Sorry. Uh, finished book, now can't decide. Chain of Iron or Quarter Silver Flames? Quarter Silver Flames from me. That's the one I vote for because I've not read Chain of Iron and I don't... I mean, I say I don't plan to. It is a beautiful book. Uh, start reading... I'll start reading Daughter of the Forest. Nice. I just got back from work. I hope you enjoyed work. Uh, comfy reading, 60 pages of, of Brown Girl Dreaming, did some work for university, finished up the last bits of one of my videos. Oh, cool. I never know where to look. Like, should I look at the comments on the side or the comment that I pulled up on the screen? It's very... Mm. <laughs> Didn't read, but did finish an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. Ah, oh, that is time well spent. Got work done, listened to some Brandon Sanderson, read 34 pages of Sea of Monsters. Uh, recommended books to people in Silver. Uh, Recommending books is a productive way of spending your sprints. 57 pages, 32 pages, turns out had 56 pages to read. Oh, nice. Boy the Ball, Fox and the Horse, really enjoyed it. God, good, good, good. Uh, got here late, but made 45 pages into Amari. Wasn't able to read in time for the live show. That's fine. That's fine. As long as you're still reading it now. Good birthday yesterday. Oh, eight like 25 cookies. Good. Um, happy birthday for yesterday. 25 pages into Crescent City tabbing and making notes. I need to start annotating more myself, but we'll see, we'll see. Also, it, you, can you tell the sun's going down a lot now? Like there's a bit of an orange glow from this side. Do we like the, Do we like it? I may have to close those blinds soon though, because people can see in. Where, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, 10 pages and eight lunch, 18 pages and sing you home. Was not productive, my mom called. That is productive to me. Talking to your mom, I love it. I love it. I just read some fan fiction. Where where did you read fan fiction? Was it Wattpad? 26 pages and found uh, 
finally found out big mystery of the book nice i finished painting the last room i finished painting the last room in my house after buying it six months ago oh yay the last room as well congrats congrats 54 pages have two weeks of work after two weeks we're celebrating chloe Finished presentation for tomorrow's bachelor thesis seminar, uh, 70 pages of Midnight Library, ate my dinner, watched an episode of The Office, productively what watching shows is productive in my eyes. Because I used to be the kind of person who would make a list of all the episodes I needed to watch. And I felt productive when I could take those episodes off. And then, yeah, uh, start a new job next week and got all the details today. Really looking forward to it. Change of career. Oh my God, congratulations on the new job. And I hope it goes great. Uh, Jade sorted all this month's Patreon welcome letters and stickers. Oh my god, incredible! I, I, I don't know how you do it. Honestly, you do Patreon, you do YouTube, you read, you host readathons. Where do you get the time? Forty-four pages. Oh, and your work. Where do you get the time? Forty-four pages. So great to see everyone. I, I love seeing everyone here too. Doing an English assignment. Oh my gosh. I hope it is going well. I hope it's a good um, assignment. I hope it's interesting. 23 pages and losing interest. Do you want to switch it up then? Try a different book right now. Come back to it. You know, you can do that. 25 pages of the Red Queen. Read 25 pages, 17 pages. What about a paragraph of my essay? Uh, I think we wish for for a couple of weeks. Finally happened this week. I'm so glad, Catherine. I love when it works out. 59% of the Wicked and the Divine. Gilton five on Friday, so proud of her. We had a nice birthday party with some of her friends from kindergarten. Oh gosh, happy birthday to your girl, Nina. Five as well, they grow up so fast, don't they? 70 pages, read and been eating dinner. What have I said about mentioning food on this live show? <laughs> Was late, got some ivy and felt terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you're feeling a little bit better now. Um, 37 pages read in Hella Skelter. Been reading all day, but joining now. And um, thanks for joining. Legend Born to the House in the Surrounding Sea. Just got here. So excited. I really want to read Legend Born. 35 pages and eight dinner. <laughs> uh, yes. I can't remember what that was in relation to, but yes. <laughs> Finished school, read like 15 pages of Lost in the Neverwoods. 51 pages. Something positive. Went through a really important exam today, then met my best friend for ice cream and a walk in the park and through town. It was really nice. That is such a great reward for finishing your exam today. Like, congrats on finishing it. I hope it went well. And also, just oh, meeting a friend for ice cream, getting that social interaction. I love it. This is all the social interaction I'm getting this week. So, yay. Uh, listen to the three chapters of Truth Witch. Around 40 pages of Cinder, made some tea. That is the kind of book I would, because I read it like two years ago now, I'd love to read it again. It was like, it came at the right moment for me. I don't know how it'll hold up though. Uh, how long is this on for? I'm planning on going for another, I can't count, another four slash five hours. Um, and then there's going to be a sprint on other people's channels after, and I don't want to clash. So... I uh, got a lot of my projects done at work. Listen to a chapter of An Ember in the Ashes. One positive thing. Got my first dose of the vaccine late last week. Yes, I love it. Well done, Melissa. I'm so happy for you. My mum got hers on Friday. And honestly, the relief, the relief was intense. Honestly, because I've just been worried nonstop for the past God knows how long. But yes, for the first dose. Oh, day six pages. Cuddled my, my dogs. Nothing positive happened this week. We're still here. We're still here, Brit. That's a positive. And I got people to buddy read, got people to buddy the Cosmia and Dresden Files. Oh my gosh, that not that like a long series? But amazing. <laughs> Was texting with friends and took a shower, positive thing, stayed at my grandparents the last two days and had a lot of fun and spent time with them, which was nice. I'm happy to hear that. Read about 20 pages and for good news, my underweight dog gained two kilograms towards his dog weight. Yes, oh my gosh. What's your dog called, Sash? Oh. I am only two books away from reading 31 books. 31 books? And what? <laughs> That's incredible. So you've read 29, so you've been doing one book a day. You had to pick a month with 31 days in it, Lauren. Like, I'm impressed. Don't get me wrong, I'm impressed. But wow, that is incredible. Finished assignment during the sprints, and then this week found out I got accepted into a placement for school. Amazing. I'm so glad, Jocelyn. Got up a bit late and felt a bit tired, so I used the sprint as a bit of a wake-up, get refreshed. Yes, 
Yes. Get refreshed sprints. Now she got her work done um, with the script and breaking it down. Nice. Read 24 pages, done on five chapters of Amari, plus done a load of washing. Placed an order for three books last week. <laughs> I love my some book post. I do. I hope they were good books. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you doing, Trin? 9% of Bonshard Daughter. Read 21 pages, something positive. They going into the office for a few hours tomorrow, first time in over a year. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people going back like very gradually now, and a lot of people are really happy about that. So I'm glad you are too. Got social work internship, amazing nonprofit after school all stars. That sounds amazing. I love that. Uh, 30 pages. Hopefully, you can get a good chunk of the book done. You will. Review copy and do real soon. Oh my gosh. Don't talk to me about review copies. <laughs> There's been a few that um, I might have missed a deadline for myself, but you know, we'll not talk about that. Positive vibes only. I uh, did a couple of things. Um, had 20 minutes left for reading and read about 12 pages of Black Sun. Nice. Giant reading, The Vanishing State and Bane Chronicles. So excited. Hey, I'm glad. Um, joining this a bit late, but yeah. In your UDI, yes. Yeah, for the UDIs. Ready for some stuff done. Olivia, what UDI do you have? Did you tell me the last time? I might have forgotten. Uh, only about 35 pages, been fussing with my sprained ankle. Oh, Rachel, I'm so sorry. Um, one positive thing is learning, your son learning to say a couple of words. That is amazing. Didn't read, but cleaned the dishes, load of laundry. Six kids can be a nightmare. I mean, fair, you have so much on your plate. Uh, got a call from Books A Million for an interview this Saturday. Best of luck. Oh, thanks. I mean, the fact that I took 45 minutes to edit two minutes is something, isn't it? I, I, I'm hopefully going to pick up the pace on that. Read 30 pages of Anna Karenina. Anna, Kar <laughs> Anna Karenina? Uh, I can never say it. And as for a good thing that happened, my boyfriend will be moving in with me from one month's time. Oh, in one month's time. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Seeing the girls tomorrow, volunteer with, uh, not been all together since birthday on a TBR and beyond tour. Mm, yay. I'm glad. I'm glad. And uh, nothing super positive happened in a good state of mind. That is that is the positive, though. Just having a good state of mind is a huge thing. So that is a really positive thing. So keep hold of that. Um, Something positive planted a bunch of seeds and they've sprouted like crazy. Wow. I mean, get all that gardening in. Yes. 80 pages after Shadow and Bone, not liking it so far. Ain't giving up, though. I mean, yeah, I've heard some people say similar things. Keep going at it. It might end up being the best book you ever read. Who knows? But also, if you don't like it, you need an effort. Hide a new receptionist, which, which should help with the hours. I hope it does, Victoria. Um, did the dishes, laundry, cleaned up a bit. We love productivity. Read seven chapters, went to Ikea last Friday and got poster frames for some movie posters. <gasps> Ooh, I do have some movie poster frames, but I can't remember where I got them from because they were so long ago. Got a new haircut and been getting a lot of compliments on it. Nice. I love it. I'm glad for the new haircut. Should I get my cut? I felt like this is how long it is in the back. It's like becoming like too long. <laughs> For the new puppy called Potato. Oh, I love that. I love that. What a great name. Uh, the ship stuck in the Suez Canal has been moved, which will make my job a lot easier. Oh, my God. I'm so glad that's moved for you. Um, is that what I've heard on the news lately? Um, there was something about a ship on the news recently that had caused, like, a lot of problems. Was Is that the same one? I've been avoiding the news for the past two weeks, honestly. Um, positive thing is got a new job and have one day and have one day left at current job. I hope you love, I hope you love the, the new job. I do. Uh, our positive thing was that you got a job. Yay. I'm so glad. And I'm also so sorry if I miss a comment. Sometimes it jumps and then it, the comments just disappear before a certain point. Uh, something nice that happened this week is starting the last course at uni in three months, graduate as middle school teacher. Yes! I love that. I love that. Something positive is my dad got the vaccine. Uh, flatmates returned after living alone for two weeks. I'm glad you've got some company now as well. There's a parents last week and got to see them in person for the first time in nearly a year. I love that. First vaccine. Yes. Having won a Penguin Teen giveaway for House of Hollow. Oh, well, congrats on winning that. Uh, moving in with my boyfriend. We are apartment hunting. Fun times. Fun times indeed. I played a whopping 50 minutes of The Last of Us. I'm sorry for making you, you pause it. You can continue if you want. <laughs> but keep me on in the background. 
I had my yearly checkup because I have, oh, oh, um, you have the gene. I'm so, so sorry. But you got no clear. Oh my God, that's amazing. You got no clear. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm honestly chuffed to bits for you. That's amazing. Got 100% in psychology quiz. Love to say it. Got a little package from my mom because I can't visit her over Easter. Oh, moms are the best, right? Uh, it was my birthday on the 25th. Happy late birthday. Really nice day after months of feeling feeling down. Boyfriend got Kindle and love it. I'm so happy for you. City of girls, nice. I read 22 pages. Last week finished my last internship. Got a job as a doctor. Incredible, incredible stuff. Just got an email from the hospital where I work. And the vaccine Friday. Oh my gosh. Yay. So during the next sprints, you can let us know that you got it. Yes. Like next week's sprints, like next Monday sprints. You read a lot? Yes. Designed a full bookmark and read 26 pages. Cat got a bit sick, but he's fine now. I'm I'm happy to hear that. Sisters been getting ready for our mom's birthday dinner. I like it. I like it. Editing first ever YouTube video. Oh. Um, you're not bad at all. Don't worry. Like my first video, terrible. Absolutely terrible. So don't even worry about it. Just put it out. Get your personality across. Be yourself. Uh, edit on your iMovie on your phone. Look, I use my phone to film. So it's all good. It's all good. And I use iMovie too. It won't be horrible. Don't worry. A uh, positive thing after a shitty week, my dad released the first episode of his podcast. Yay, dad. Uh, can you say, spoiler, anything about the books you got? Um, is the RSS for the, the person who got the book post? I haven't gotten really book post lately. Um, what did I get recently? Um, mm. Oh, I did get a, a, a copy of What Lives in the Woods by Lindsay Curry today, actually. That did come today. I can't remember what else I've gotten now. Everything's just escaped my head. Uh, able to see friends again after months. Yes. Um, found out my best friend is moving to my city next month. She currently lives two hours away. Nice. So I learned to read tarot. Flower seeds are sprouting. Got to marry your friend and now husband this week. <gasps> Congrats on the wedding. Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, I hope you've still got wedding cake left. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, multiple choice questions. Okay. Hi, Kirsty. I uh, woke up 20 minutes ago. You had a great nap. <laughs> Don't really like romance heavy reads. Pomme is getting four more for a series like Agatha. I mean, I don't read it for the plot, so I can't tell you if you're going to enjoy it or not, but I do like it. Got into the master's program for September. Going to try and finish Fahrenheit 415. Well done. Uh, applying for jobs. Got some work done on the essay. A uh, positive thing is film crew thing. Connected well to a new co-worker. Love it. Was the thing going to be head of MFL in my school next year and one of the top students decided to do the subject I'm teaching him in sixth form. So I'm super proud. Of, I'm super proud too. Want to read um, Guild, but have to finish your assignment. You're going to get it done. It's all good. In the middle of a Norwegian play that I thought would get through quick, but my brain is saying no. If you need to put it down for a bit, do it. Doing some cooking. Positive is cat is gaining weight after being sick for a while. I love to hear it. All of the pets and everything. Amazing. Got all my courses sorted out for the upcoming semester. All the stress has cost me is finally gone. I love it. De-stressed. Love it. Uh, birthday on Wednesday. Yay. Happy birthday for Wednesday. Ooh. Uh, read fan fiction more than books. Cozy Sweater has given me uh, Koya vibes, and I'm here for it. It is a great one. It is. It's called an Udi, um, and it's just the most snuggliest thing I've ever, ever owned, ever. Lunch with family and next sprint will be reading. Ooh, nice. Uh, I'm more excited for this week than what happened last week. Fair. We can talk about this next week. It's all good. Archive of our own. Ah, that's what it's called. Have a phone call on Thursday. That may lead to my first job. Fingers crossed. Um, only read, only read fan fiction on AO3. Don't trust Wattpad. <laughs> I mean, I love Wattpad, <laughs> so don't hate me. <laughs> Going to the graduation. Uh, yay. Uh, Hello, oh, hello to Illinois. Top tier. Uh, last episode of The Regulars, amazing show. Never read, never watched it. Uh, AO3, <laughs> I mean, fair. Drary fanfics, no. <laughs> Got into the graduate program I wanted. So happy, yay, I'm so happy too. Arrived too late for the last sprint, but we ready to dive into Midsummer's Mayhem. 70 pages, it's a reread. Three more days of work, then two weeks off. So much reading time. One book I must read is Orphans of the Tide. Yes, please do. I really enjoy that book. 
where do I go if I want to recommend a possible contender for Middle Grade Monthly? Um, if you tweet at MJ Monthly, um, Jade or Pris, if you're still in the chat and you can, um, I'm sure the at is MJ Monthly on Twitter. If you just want to tweet us, um, if you don't have Twitter, maybe um, DM one of us on Instagram or on one of our YouTube videos. I will be happy to, to um, have a look. I feel really productive watching shows, watching the same amount. Nice. Enjoying the brownie breakfast. Oh my God. Legend was so cool. Won't be reading, but I'll be taking an exam. Oh my God. Best of luck. Best of luck. Four essays. Wow. Uh, How's the Serenian Say is fantastic. Book. I love that book. Had a lovely Skype with a friend in Germany, German exchange student. Oh, I love that. I've oh, been friends with me. Oh, I love that. So I'm watching Munda Egg Priority today and cried a lot. I've never heard of it. Uh, went and ate at some food trucks with my family, had delicious food and ice cream. Yay. Oh, and, oh, you had a migraine. I hope it goes. In St. Mulan, I'm here, Giff. I, I uh, sent a Mulan GIF to Maddie today, and I thought it was hilarious. 20 pages of the song. Rising, something positive. Last night, my nieces sent me an audio singing happy birthday. I had to think that. I'm terrible for acronyms. It does, it does take me a little while, but made your month. I love that. Ooh, obsessed. Got something positive. My test came back negative. Oh my God, I'm that far behind. I'm sorry. But um, boyfriend surprised me with a lovely breakfast this morning. That's a good boyfriend. Don't add me to the list for the vaccine. Oh, yay. My mum had to um, go on the NHS website. And every time she went on to book an appointment, it always said that there were appointments available miles away. And then when she would click on them, and they would then say, no appointments available and it would just keep doing that but she finally she finally got there in the end been cleaning nice um kids came home for the weekend made mama very happy uh don't know what i want to read what are your options oh i have i oh yeah i sorry i if I, um i repeat comment i'm sorry um started a freelance job so I treat myself to the new starbucks chocolate chip cookie latte i didn't realize that was back I need to get that ASAP. Dad got the first dose of the vaccine on Friday. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Ah, uh, yay. Also, the fact you joke flashed. I mean, I, my neighbors, they say a lot. It's getting really dark outside quickly now. <laughs> so I'm going to have to close those blinds. Uh, dog is called Sam. Oh, I love that. Hi, Sam. Positive thing. Fiance said we can look at new wallpaper for the bedroom. That is a result. I love it. Um, looking forward to chilling with you all. Positive thing is nephew was born on Tuesday. Oh, welcome to the world, Theodore. Um, it jumped. I hope I haven't met. Oh, phew, it hasn't deleted any comments. It's good. Woke up very late at 4 p.m. Hoping to be productive. You will. We will be sprinting again at, at um, quarter to the hour. So in about six-ish minutes. But I do want to get through all these positive stuff. I'm glad you're doing good, Trin. Uh, finished a set of notes revision for my criminology class. Got some reading done for my political science chapter. Amazing. Uh, yay. I love when you get work done. Uh, ordered some books last week, too. It will be fun when they arrive. Accidentally muted me. Harriet, how rude. Uh, read six books last week. Incredible. Oh, you pre-ordered Rainbow Grey. Oh, I love that book so it, honestly it's so cute it wraps you up in a warm hug honestly if I had to give you vibes for Rainbow Grey by Laura Ellen Anderson it would be snuggly sprints vibes that's what that's the kind of vibes I would give so um if you haven't checked out my reading vlog for that please do it's spoiler free and I have a music video in it as well so <laughs> it's I terrible singing uh oh Got an extra day of spring break this past week because the professor cancelled our last lecture. Ooh, yes, extra day. Pre-order game is high right now. Got four books pre-ordered with Waterstones and two through Barnes & Noble. Broke down and bought the UK edition of Amari and me and my dad in the end, end of the rainbow. Great choices. Read the in scene in Akamath during the last sprint. I wish I'd have seen your reaction. Ordered your planner. Amazing. Uh, both Cosme and Dresden files are indeed long series. Yes, I mean, if we get used to it, it's not as scary. So I, I say that. Just wanted to say hi, hello. Um, any advice on planning for a readathon this Saturday, first, 48, first 24 hour marathon? Um, my advice is I mean, I don't think I've ever 
went through the entire 24 hours, but I don't think anybody expects you to. It's just to try and read as much as you can during the 24 hours. So make sure that you do sleep, whether that's just before or, you know, if, you, if you're desperate to sleep the full 24 hours, then, you know, get the sleep in beforehand, sleep straight away after. Don't sacrifice your health for it, number one. Um, if you're tired, go to sleep. If you're tired, nap, you know. Um, but um, doing sprints helps. <laughs> getting social interaction, getting up and moving as well. Don't just sit in one place. Sit somewhere else to read. Um, go outside for a walk for maybe like 20 minutes, you know, just to clear your head. Read outside if it's in your garden. Um, yeah, um, I could. I should probably do a video for it, but there's uh, there are quite a few readathon survival guides. I know Steph did one, Maddie did one. There's quite a few people who have done one, so check those out. Um, so our 31st book of the month, 31 and 31 challenge. I'm always impressed when people do that. I really am. Honestly, people can literally say right through my window. Love how you take the time. Oh, I mean, I'm trying. I'm so sorry if I miss anyone. Uh, any opinions on the Call of Thorns and Roses TV show? Um, if you missed what I said earlier, I don't mind. I genuinely don't mind. I'm going to reserve judgment for when I say it. I'm going to reserve judgment for when I say it. Um, is is the gift for stepmom? Oh, floral apron on the way. That sounds nice. Starting to look like the Beatles, Gav. Starting to look like Beatles. Beatles. Um, the Beatles is in the the group. The Beatles starting to look like the Beatles. I, to be fair, I do have a Beatles jumper. Yeah, I love it. Oh, second shot of vaccine today. Second shot, yes. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling good. Uh, we will be sprinting again in four minutes, I promise, when I get through these. Uh, just joined. Oh, nice. Positive thing. Bunch of water swords orders arrived. And while I was at work, my lovely neighbor took them in. Ooh, oh, that's a nice neighbor. Grandma has been scheduled for her vaccine. I love that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Um, apart from school being stressful, oh, I'm glad you're watching. Like, thank you so much. I always appreciate when people tune in. Oof, I would go to. Oh, got second vaccine. Love it. Also, Lisa got second vaccine. Uh, moved to a new alert level, and we can now see friends and family again. I love that. I love that. Second dose of vaccine. I'm loving seeing these second doses. Oh, I love that. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> got a new TV. Uh, what are you editing? I'm editing Play Your TV All Right for April, and it's it, it's definitely a video. I want to premiere it tomorrow. It's a video. <laughs> <laughs> um, send in the wrong talk for a big assignment over a month ago, and now the professor allowed you to send the right one. That is a good professor. They should always allow you to do that. If you send the wrong one, there's always circumstances around it where you might have accidentally sent the wrong thing. They should not penalize you for doing that and making a mistake like that. So that is a good professor. I love that. Oh, a positive thing. Work is reopening, and they are starting to recall employees back. Oh, yes. I cannot wait. I always lose track of time. I'm sure I said Sunday before I started the first sprint and people said in the chat, Gav, do me Monday. So I'm sorry about that. Good evening. Birthday tomorrow. I hope you have a great birthday tomorrow. Yeah, this is a party for you. I uh, sat in my grandparents' garden today and read a bit. Great to actually get some fresh air. Mum had surgery today to remove her tumour and all went well. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Jess. You must have been so worried. Oh, I'm so made up for your mum. This is the best news. I'm so happy for you and your mum. I had a shower before this live, going to put on some makeup today. I do only read Akhtar off the smart, to be fair. Uh, yay, motivation. I love it. I love it. I love giving you the motivation. Just finished watching Jade's Read It Like Becca vlog. <laughs> uh, struggling with keeping my eyes open. Oh, well, if you're struggling to keep your eyes open, Steph, have an early night. You know, you deserve a break. Uh, early, yeah, happy early birthday. Hey, hey. Uh, what time is it for you? Uh, for me, it is 7.45 p.m. Um, I'll start sprinting in five minutes. I want to get through some more comments before we sprint again. Um, read one more chapter of Verity. It is disturbing. It's very disturbing. And lots of stuff happened in it that I was not ready for. So please bear that in mind. Um, love the Irregulars too. Have to head out for work. Love these... Um, Thank you so much for popping along, Jocelyn. Um, yes, there, Jade, Jade got it. This is how far behind I am. Jade, Jade's in it. Um, watch 101 Dalmatians. Is that or dumb? Was that is that a typo or is it 101 dumb? Uh, mm, okay, is it the the remake? Is it the animated film? 
let me know. Uh, let's, oh, it skipped again. Let's see. Super excited, able to read four books this month, have three kids and work full time. That's incredible. That's incredible for also having three kids and working full time. Wow. Uh, 38 pages after current read. Uh, reading vlog for Rainbow Grey. Oh, thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Honestly, the amount of people whose ears bled when I sang. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. It is genuinely such a cute book, honestly. I love it. Can we have Rainbow Green themed sprints after it when it comes out? I mean, this is Rainbow Green themed sprints. It's just cozy. It's a hug. It's warm. It's lovely, you know? So this, this is, these are the Rainbow Green sprints. I uh, went back and rewatched I Want to Reread Crescent City. Can you believe it's been a year since I Want to Reread Crescent City? Oh, um, firstly, actually, Readathon is happening on Saturday, which is Jade's 24 hour readathon. Um, but Jade says, Nap beforehand, stay hydrated. That's one I missed. Have a shower when you're feeling sluggish. Another one I missed. Get some fresh air. Definitely audiobooks, 100%. Uh, just saying all the replies. Like, thank you so much for answering questions as well in the comments. Um, doing full on reading for the whole Easter weekend. I keep forgetting it's Easter this Sunday and also Good Friday as well. Able to get some graphic novels for Saturday. Mom got the first shot this week. Also, we had a baby shower for my friend. I love that. I love that so much. Yes, we will be reading in four minutes. I just don't want to miss anyone's tweet. Um, comment. Tweet has been tweeted. I can't wait to see. Um, great news today is I get to join in and I just finished a paper on. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. I'm sorry. Uh, for med school. I love that. Yeah, it is. It's because it jumps and then like it goes like to the most recent. So I scroll back up, but it only holds so many comments on the screen at one time. So then the comments before that just, it disappears. Um, love these sprint live shows because it feels like I'm reading. With, you are reading with friends. You are. Um, positive things here for sprints and cozy vibes. Uh, bought some cake. Oh my God, you bought cake for friends and family? And oh, you brought some cake to friends and family for your birthday. Oh, well, firstly, happy birthday as well. Anybody pre-ordered Empire of the Vampire yet? Um, I'm not saying anything, but you might want to watch my um, TBR video. Yeah, all the good news. I think I'm, all, I think I'm almost caught up. Um, positive thing, after tomorrow, I never have to look at a contemporary port we slash team another show ever again. You say that, but what if something really, like, exciting comes along. Our village newspaper is looking for a new editor and applied and they want to get to know me and then make the decision if they want me in their team. They will want you. They will all send them my way and I will talk to them. All the positivity in the comments, yes, Tess, including your profile picture. Uh, I haven't decided if I want to read it, to be honest. Uh, Empire the Vampire. 15 books next month's TBR. I'm not saying that's how many years are mine. I'm not saying anything. Uh, love the way you speak to, oh, I mean, we're just, we love everyone here. Oh, oh, Lexi's here as well. Class just got out ready for cozy vibes and sprints. I mean, Lexi, if you want to rest first, because class is intense. <laughs> but if you want to rest first, get yourself a coffee, do what you need to do. Uh, reread in Crescent City. Uh, just being, we will be sprinting in like two minutes. I've almost caught up. Been watching your Bugoblathon vlog anytime I need a laugh. Oh, yeah. Um. You don't have to have read A Court of Silver Flames to watch my Bookoblathon blog. Um, just skip all the times when I talk about it because I do have timestamps. But you can say all the live show highlights in, in the timestamps where I don't reveal anything about the books. Um, apart from the fact that there's spot, <laughs> but everyone knows that. Um, so yeah. Uh, Rereading Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Plan to write a blog post. Do it. Do it. Um, to do. Um, you should feel loved. Uh, uh, hello, uh, hello to everybody who's um just joined now as well. We are sprinting in one minute. Uh, made a cake for Todd's birthday tomorrow. Ooh, I bet it looks amazing, and I bet it tastes even better. Yes, me too. Hello, Becca, my love. Um, yeah, I love that everybody is saying hello to one another as well. It's just, oh, we love each other. Body Patreon sticker packs left to package. Can I finish them in the next sprint? Yes. Yes, you can. We will again sprint for another 45 minutes, which will bring us to 35, I think. I think it's 35. We will sprint until 35 to the hour, 25 to the hour. Um, yeah, just making sure I haven't missed anyone's positive comments. Win a good reads giveaway. Incredible. 
incredible. Uh, chilling with a nice glass of wine. Love to say it. Um, <laughs> it's just that it's that live show. It's still ingrained in people's brains. Uh, yeah, watch the vlog. Yeah, well, um, don't watch the part where I talk about the books, okay? Um, I do have it time stamped, so just skip, skip to the parts where it's not where I'm not talking about the books. It is time stamped. It is time stamped. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, we will be sprinting. We will be sprinting. And also, I mean, it depends. I, I felt light spoilers as well. I don't think I spoiled anything too important. Um, how long is this going to be for another like few hours? So don't worry. Um, okay, we're sprinting now. We're sprinting. Okay, I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to get the ambience on. I'm going to sprint for four.
Hey everyone. And let me just see how, if I missed anything. Oh, Jessica's here. Hi. Um, I, I'm, I swear it just jumped. I didn't see this. Hi, Jess. Uh, uh, yep, everyone's safe. Everyone's doing good. We're all good over here. Um, oh gosh, I love it. Return from dinner. Return from dinner. That's good. <gasps> Reading Haunted of Hill House about halfway through. Bored. That's not good. Um, if anyone's read it, um, okay. Don't think it gets better. Oof. Are we going to have any um confrontations in the chat? Does anybody else have a different idea about the Horn of Hill House? Because I haven't read it. I haven't read it. Uh, let me all know how you guys did. Um, do, do. Back swear every time sprint starts, that's something that distracts me. I mean, same. Same. That's why, I mean, I did say until 25 too, but I kept it till 22 um, when I did the timer thing because I was like, I'm already a little bit late. I need to pay. Uh, to do, oh, I hope you're having a good day as well. Looking at books online, City of Brass has been added to their stock. It would be rude not to. Oh, it's making you want to tinkle? Oh my. <laughs> Maybe um, in the next one I should have, I don't know what I'd do for the next ambience actually. I should change it up, shouldn't I? I'll, I'll play around with it. I might do like a cafe, coffee shop ambience maybe next time. Uh, finish chapter four in the manuscript. Well done, Kiki. I uh, passed 100 page mark with Aurora Burning. Just got out of school. What did you miss? You just missed not a lot, really. We've just been hanging out. We've been chilling. We've been reading. We've been writing. We've been sprinting, doing stuff. Um, I have been editing. I managed to do four minutes. That's how much I edited in just over 40 minutes. It, what was it? 45 minutes. I can't remember. Um, I edited four minutes. So now I have six minutes of my video edited. Yay. <laughs> it's taken me ages, but it usually does. Usually when it gets to the game part of it, I pick up. It's because I'm mentioning all of the book clubs and the buddy reads that I'm doing. So I'm including everyone's photos so that everybody knows whose channel to go to. So I'm just including all of those, saving them from Twitter because I ended up deleting them from my computer rafter, but I should just keep them because I mention like the same people in almost every video, pretty much. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm terrible, I know. But I like to do lots of cuts and camera cuts and things. So, and I need to cut out all of the M's and all the times I like breathe. So yeah, barely read a word. The sprint had a mountain of dishes. I mean, did you get them done? Yeah, you did that. Okay, good. Um, not my, look, look, you got the dishes done. You don't have to worry about those ever again. Well, until the next round of dishes, but not prepared for the sadness that is Crescent City. I mean, I can't wait for Crescent City too, not gonna lie. Like it had such cliffhanger moments in that one. Mm. 20 pages, talk to mom and dad, love it. 40 minutes left of close to the universe and loving it. Oh, I'm look. Uh, this is what I want in these chats. If you're not loving your book, if you're bored or anything, then put it down, read something else, you know? Just ordered All Boys on Blue. I love that book so much. Absolutely adore it. Um, oh, hi, Christy. 49 pages of Castle of Bitter Thorns. Kat just joined me, making the vibes seem cozy yet. Oh, God. I wish Suki would snuggle, but he doesn't. 40 pages of Chain of Iron. Just got to page 70 to save monsters. 12 more letters to pack. I'm sorry, Jade. I'm sorry. Um, I gave us a little bit extra time there as well. We'll uh, 45 minutes again next time. You, you got this. You got this. 52 more pages in Amelia Fang and the Unicorn Lords, and I love it. That one is, I think, my joint favorite of that series. I think book two and five are my favorites. I don't know, actually. I need to rethink that, but I do love that one too. Just join me because I had an exam, went okay. So now I can join with the sprints. Oh, I'm glad the exam went okay. 30 pages of Truth Witch, getting better. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. You've got to push through it. Finished up a new side project for work during that sprint. I love it. Listen to Titan's Curse. Ooh. Online food shopping. Someone's got to do it, right? Read 30 pages. Finished The Woman in Cabin 10. Now catching up on some arcs. Read 22 pages. Read some fan fiction. 30 pages. 20 pages. Managed 52 pages of Truth Witch and a nano nap. 
Is that what you call them? Nano naps? Because I just used to call them nana naps. Because I thought I ha I felt like a nana when I was napping. That's what I thought the word. Nano nap. That makes more sense. Because nano means like short, doesn't it? Like a nanosecond, like a very short thing. I always thought it was a nana, a nana nap. Well, I'm I'm, I'm glad I, I've learned something. 62 pages of daughter of a smoking bone. I mean, that's fair. Messi has just started a YouTube channel. Oh, that's so oh, that's so lovely. That is such a supportive friend. Finished about 50 pages of the blade itself. Afternoon meeting is done by reading the house at the edge of magic. 46 pages of Bogner. Just joined, enjoyed the few minutes of ambience, munching on pick and mix. I did actually have some Harry Bowls myself. Just the one packet. I'm not the next sprint, but I think the sprint after. I'm gonna have something to eat. Um, I'm not too hungry yet, which is why I'm I'm not thinking next sprint for that. I'm thinking the sprint after. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how I go. Uh, was cooking almost done with that and studied some math. <laughs> Love all the studying that's going on. That's what I want. Don't sack off work. Too important. Good time. I just finished the chapter I was on. I love it when that happens. Got myself a slice of, slice of cake. Page 211. Just had dinner. Tuning in. We'll read Persepolis. Ooh. Just finished Beth's vlog. Great timing. Think I'm going to bake brownies. Are you going to bake brownies? If you bake them, will you please tag me on Twitter, like a photo of them or something? Because I'd love to see that. Uh, hit 122 pages of the Midnight Library, and it's all so good. Maybe I should read that. It's just come out in paperback. Maybe I will. Texted with sister for a while, which was super nice. Decided to pick up pages and call. Oh, cozy, cute vibes. F uh, 57 pages. Not counting the pages I can only read. I can't do both. Okay. Managed to get another video finished, so we'll actually get to read on the next sprint. My mum went to bed, so um, good night, Sharon. Uh, TV show for... Um, oh, again, I'm terrible for acronyms. House of... Oh, how... Haunting of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House. Okay, I did enjoy that show as well. I, I really enjoyed that show. 35 pages of Cinder, 20 pages of Dinner, 83 pages of Brown Girl Dreaming... Uh, just sent a job application. I'm waiting for the COVID update press conference in my provenance to start. I Best of luck for the job application, honestly. Read three chapters. Got to page 420 of Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. You know what? I He was at a book signing once in Newcastle, and I had no idea who he was. And I, I always feel bad if there's like people there who are signing books, and it doesn't look like they've got a really big crowd. So, I mean, this was like seven, eight years ago now, and I felt a little bit bad. So I bought his book, and I was like, oh, my God, I absolutely adore your writing. It's incredible. I did the exact same thing with Sarah J. Mass. Um, But I was like, I need to make him feel good. So I just, I said a lot of lies. <laughs> and I will finally read one of his books one of these days. Just John will be reading A Culta by Mia Matane. Nice. 31 pages, just finished lunch, read 51 pages of Dear Justice. I mean, reading Summer Job by Adam Caesar, author of Clown in a Cornfield. I love Clown in a Cornfield. Summer Job, I've not heard of that one. I have seen him do other books, but I've not heard of that one. But I mean, if you're almost done and you like it a lot, must be good. I might pick it up. Uh, Wicked and the Divine, 30% into Evidence of the Affair. Done with first book, starting the year of the witching. That looks big. 18 pages, start and pick up the pace again. Also have the thing, also have the thing we don't talk about. 33 pages of Royal Assassin. Listen to 20% of the Raven Boys while doing chores and getting ready to start my full-time job on Monday. Oh my gosh, best of luck with the job. Spent at least 10 minutes of that looking for my Kindle, <laughs> which fell behind the sofa. The amount of times that's happened to me. I mean, not my Kindle, but um, like my phone, the remote. And then I never find it. Finally started Daisy Jones and the Six. I hope you enjoy it more than I did. I, well, I love the audiobook way more than I did the actual story, but I hope you like it. I uh, managed 15% of the Poppy War so far. Uh, it's a big book, but 15% is a lot better than the six minutes I've edited of my video during these sprints, so you're doing well. Finish the Diviners by Ellie Eaton. Time to start something new or go to bed because it's almost six. What? Have you been to sleep at all? Or you're just up for good now? Oh, my God. Um, Maybe you're just up for good now. Usually that happens to me when I hit that time. 
70 pages and had a phone call. Just be nice to listen to some ambience. 150-ish pages left of Mari. 10 pages, also made and ate a peanut butter and jelly and banana sandwich. Chow with mom, I've never had all of that in one. It sounds lovely though. It does sound lovely. The eight pages of a beta read, loving it. Got through 20% of the Cerulean Say audiobook. Ooh. I liked Horton of Hill House, but preferred the TV show. I have heard that. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, I think the book, it's just something that for me personally, it might just be not boring, but like I need to be patient with it because I have this habit of reading things that aren't middle grade <laughs> and finding them a little bit boring because they're not as quick for me or they're not as action-packed for me. So I feel like I when I read it, I will give it a chance. Uh, feed my lizard ladies now. They are staring at me. Oh my gosh, please do. 26 pages, of course, of the flames. Finished interview with a vampire. Got 1% into a cost. Uh, I've got 1% of a cost. So you're 8% in now. Really, China? I'm glad. Grin like a child every, oh, every time Gavin reads my comments. You're welcome, Ellie Sarah. Absolutely welcome. 29 pages. Uh, read 50 pages of Wondersmith. Love Morrigan. I mean, don't we all? Apart from, the you know, some of the people in the book because they're mean but we we love morrigan found the horn of hill house book boring but love the tv show i got halfway through the second season i haven't finished it yet nothing wrong with it really i just lost interest i will finish it eventually just arrived going to try to make some progress in truth which um i'm loving it i'm sure the live show for that is april 10th Coffee shop would be nice. I mean, I, I want to use one that's like free to use. I don't want to use one that's like being copyrighted. Um, because again, like I can't I I'm not getting copyright strikes, I'm getting copyright claims now. So <laughs> like it's not affecting my channel at the minute. But every now and then I get an email like, oh, we got a copyright claim on a video you put up in January. And I'm like, excuse me. It passed the checks. But yeah, literally, I did just get an email the other day saying that uh 60 pages of bridge of souls again it, i mentioned it in my march tbr will i get to read it will i not you'll find out just don't want to take away after a stressful day at work i mean i love doing that myself it's such a, a stress reliever when you know something cooked oh, and just delicious is coming so jessica i'm so jealous how long roughly is the video? Um, in raw footage, one hour and eight minutes. That's my play or TBR right in raw footage. One hour and eight. And I've edited six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Um, okay, I'm going to open it up. I think I have cut out a lot of the breaks that I did during it. Like, not breaks, but like when I wanted to read a book blurb and then regurgitate it. Um, let's have a look. 52 minutes is what I've gotten it down to overall um, from what I've edited so far. So six minutes of it is definitely edited out of 52 minutes, but it was one hour eight to begin with. That's not too bad. 22 pages of Bridget Jones's diary, so not a lot. It's fantastic. Uh, Paper for School contains the word space demons, which I love so much. Space demons, that sounds interesting. Oh, Laura's here. Oh, I'm so glad you made it. I hope you can do all of the amazing drawings and everything. I hope you heard all of the lovely Amelia Fang love during this chat as well. Uh, switched my books for Language of Thorns, Grisha verse Folklore, and read 20 pages. Go to bed though. Good night, Nina. Thank you for joining. Uh, just got here, but going to be reading The Conjurer. Nice. In case you read nothing, always surprised. <laughs> Saw my feet and watched some of Bailey, Sar Bailey Sar Sarayan's new video. Ooh. How long was your TBR game, Gavin? The bit? Oh, um, it was like an hour and eight. But uh, I'm trying to cut it down, hopefully to around half an hour, because I want I do want a premiere. It might be less. Who knows? Took my dog out for a walk, finished my audiobook, Mero Mero, The Snow White Twisted Tale. Gave it four stars. I gave that one four stars, too. Got 100% on my quiz, love to say it. I was checking out books online and had you on mute. How rude. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Get all the books. Do you listen to audiobooks while you edit, Gavin? I don't. I have to listen to me because I repeat things. I say things wrong. I have to go back on myself. Uh, so I have to put all of my attention on me uh, because 
it's a mess and the, the raw footage is usually a mess. So I have to focus on that. Um, so that's why I got my headphones in because I connected to that so I can hear myself better as well. So that's why I got my headphones in, not an audio book, just, just me. Just edited my second video. Yes, adding the photos and bits and pieces takes a lot of time. Yeah, and especially since um, I want, I always do a drop shadow on them as well. And then I um, have them, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but it doesn't just appear like that. It like blurs in kind of thing. That's what I do. Um, I do that. And it that takes time too. And then, yeah. <laughs> and the amount of ums I'm taking out too, it's ridiculous. Attempted editing, damn Google Docs, computer was so laggy, gave up and read, somehow getting through 181 pages of a book club far away. Nice. Oh, back from class. Missed you. We missed you as well, Morrigan. Just finished Six of Crows. Had me decide what to pick next. Should I read Crew of Kingdom or start How Beautiful We Were? Not read either of them. I would say probably Crook of Kingdom just because you're one step closer to finishing a series. I've never heard of How Beautiful We Were. Or I might have done. But I can only remember by cover, maybe. So maybe, but if everybody else said how beautiful we were, go for that one. Just need to look for some critical opinion to use my exam tomorrow and then I can read. I mean, hopefully that's an easy job. Dishes is my plan for the next sprint. Dish sprints. Yes, exactly, Dana, if you don't like it. Exactly right. Uh, about half a history assignment done. Next sprint, I'm going to film my TBR video and review. I was originally going to have to film Play Your TBR right during these sprints. Um, but I found a window of opportunity just beforehand so I could film it. Um, but fortunately, I did I did do that. Because um, I was also going to film my 2021 middle grade releases, quarter two, April to June. It's a lot. It's a long title video i was gonna film that today and try and get that up asap but i was like gav you need a break and you can get this video up whenever like nothing's spoiling so i'll get that video up whenever but i wanted to do the tbr one finished reading a text about the origins of modern uh, J japanese for class and it killed my last remaining brain cells when i think back to all the stuff i had to read for uni yeah i, I relate no you're not too late we're still gonna go for another couple hours Listen to two chapters of An Ember in the Ashes. Get, it's getting crazy. Never read it, but I kind of want to. Plus got a few items off my work to do. Um, list crossed. Amazing. Amazing. Do you have an We'll pick up The Walls Around Us by Nova Red. Sumo and 200 pages in and loving it. I love to say that, Kylie. 40 pages read. Almost 200. Nice. Uh, had a shower and writing a review. Did get distracted by a group chat with my friends. I mean, to be fair, I also got a little bit distracted um, because of a group chat um but that's neither here nor there i try to ignore it <laughs> i'm the only one who found the first half of truth which much better than the second you know what that's the first i've heard of that that's the first i've heard of it uh, everyone seems to prefer the second half from what i've heard so that's interesting we've been working about 50 minutes we'll rejoin when i get home i hope you do but also no worries if not removed makeup poured a glass of wine got some chocolate ready to read ivy i love it Jade had a four-minute nap in one of her sprints, and we called it a nano nap. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Also, but also it makes sense that it's a short nap. But I'm sure it would work. It would still be a nana nap for me because I do feel like an old person. Took some time to relax before getting back to revising for my bioinformatics test. Oh, fancy <laughs> nana nap. Yeah, literally, that's what I would call them. Definitely have nana naps. A nano nap is too short. I mean, same. I don't think I'd be able to because it takes me about three hours to get to sleep in the first place. So if I nap, it's usually when I'm too exhausted to keep my eyes open and I'm up in an hour, maybe. So, yeah. Alexi, same. This is what happens every every week. I'm going to try and ban talk of food during these sprints, but I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> had dinner watched the big bang theory and now ready to read you in the next sprint we will be sprinting again in maybe 10 minutes and we can do a 50 minute sprint until like the hour i think that would be pretty good um i might be able to get more progress on my editing love truth which since page like 30 am i the only one it seems like people have taken a little while love midnight library took my asshole cat to the vet and got put oh my god i read that a little bit wrong there uh, put away groceries or while listening to Akawa made it 
talking about vice president got michelle obama's book on audible i also have that on audible i have become an unaudible and oh there was another one where a celebrity reads their own audiobook oh i forgot what it is now but i definitely have michelle obama's i can't wait to read it I just made some Biscoff cheesecake. I love Biscoff. Oh, my God. I uh, just got what white people can do next. So I'm going to jump right in. Oh, I hope we help. I hope we help you reading that. I'm uh, going to be doing my April Bullet Journal cover. Oh, I'd love to see that, too. Tag me if you can. Tag me. Tag me if you can. Boy Pages of the Witch's Boy. 40 Men's Workout and Shower Done. Finally ready to read. Have been on Priory the Orange Tree, page 30, for the last two weeks. We're going to get you past page 30. Four pages, got my kid all ready for bed. Productive, love it. Recommended Midnight Library by a work friend, so excited to get to it. I mean, you should be. I've been recommended by a lot of people. Um, <laughs> uh, on a bit of a break from script breaking. Ooh, might likely DNF Demon King. Uh, again, if you're not enjoying it, do it. Love it. Uh, done that in Newcastle. Oh, Joe, oh, that's who you meant. Joe Abercrombie. This is how far behind again I am. Sorry. Um, New yeah, did it once like 10 years ago and I still have the book, still haven't read it. We're just too nice. <laughs> Want to finish The Green Mile by Stephen King and Me by Elton John. You can do it. We've got, we've still got a couple of days left. Oh, Snuggles, Pris. Oh, snuggles. Oh. Just joined. It's 4 p.m. here and been procrastinating all day. It's what these sprints are for. Summer day, um, summer job by Adam C says witchy book. Oh yes, I'm down for that too. Forty pages, got a snack. Uh, ready for my mom's birthday meal tonight. Oh, do um, have I already said happy birthday to your mom? If not, wish her happy birthday. And I love crawfish. I love seafood. Uh, sleep has been bad lately. Going to just try to stay awake all day and hopefully be good and tired when bedtime rolls around. That's what I do, and usually that works. So I hope it works for you too. Birthday is coming. Plan on getting books for myself as a present. Oh, yes. But I need to get back to remembering to put my retainers in. I can't ever be. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. So I wore my retainers for about a year. And I mean, I didn't ever put them back in after. <laughs> um, so I got um, double jaw surgery back in. I was like Christmas time 2015, I think it was. And then my braces came off in the middle of 2016. And then, oh no, I wore my retainers for two years. So I took it off. The last time I wore them was in summer 2018. Never worn them since. I don't, my teeth don't look too bad, I think. But also do try and put those retainers back in. Um, don't want to go back to braces. I mean, that is what I am dreading as well. So just keep that in your mind. And then you will want to wear your retainers. I will be putting mine back in, but they probably won't fit, probably. Do a book cover. Oh, my God. You drew your own book cover? That's incredible. I would love to do my own, but I have no design skills, so that's incredible. And books to DBR, Jar and Loving It. Have about 100 pages left in Akamath. Just got into bed, very tired. Going to read some more of Sadie. Well, if you fall asleep during the sprint, I hope you have a good night. Just made an iced coffee, even though I'm freezing, and accidentally put way too much oat milk in it. Oh, bless you. <laughs> hello, everyone. I mean, hello, Regina. I was reading that, but like, well, hello, everyone, too. But hi, Regina. I'm um, hoping to finish four books by Thursday. You've got this. Uh, having a Thai takeaway. Oh, my God, that sounds amazing. Like the haunting that is better. Like the haunting that is based on the haunting of her house. Is that the film? I think that's a film. 11% of the video turns. Sounds better if you say it like that. Oh, okay, so that's 11%. Oh, okay, yeah, that does sound better. That does make me feel better. Uh, watching Bailey's video. Premieres are always so fun. I mean, I just want... I, I want to say everyone in the comments or in the, like, the chat say, like, higher or lower because I play it with my patrons and we do it live and they say higher or lower and then they, like, control it. And it was so fun yesterday. And that's why I want, like, the, the live chat in the premiere to be like and people to say, like, higher or lower. So then I can say who else gets it wrong or right. And and then it's not just me getting it wrong. You know what I mean? Seeing kidney pudding, mash and mushy peas delivered from a pub yesterday. Nice, Tracy. A proof of Witch Shadow by Susan Denard. Ooh, that's cool. I bet you there's lots of people jealous about that. Uh, editing, client for friend upcoming children's book. Ooh, amazing, Maria. Had dinner cleaned up, been chatting with Tori. Nice. <laughs> yeah, no one's surprised. Uh, still reading two of the same books. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. 
Should City of Ashes or an absolutely remarkable thing? Again, never read either of them. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Um, reverse fade is that a thing? I might not. I don't know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. Hi. Um, doo -doo, crook, everyone saying Crooked Kingdom from the thing that I said like 20 minutes ago. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Trying to brave a recording a vid for the first time. Booktube is so intimidating. Don't be intimidated. Like we're lovely people, really. Um, and just put your stuff out there, and yeah, it'll just be. It's just a really nice environment, really. I mean, don't be intimidated. <laughs> Uh, finished all the letters, now to run a bath and go read Truth Witch in there. Oh my gosh, Jade, that sounds amazing. But glad you got your letters finished. Uh, doo -doo. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, so you can return how we... Okay, that's a good show. That's a good show. I'm uh, going to check out how I was struggling to stay awake. Steph, thank you so much for coming. Night, Steph. Never been here before, but see, wait, it's a fun time. It's always a fun time. Um, I guess Mondays are the worst. We will be sprinting in four minutes, and then we'll do a 50-minute sprint. Please read Never in the Ashes. I will. I will. I... <laughs> I'll try. I'll try my best. Um, I've seen mixed things, but you know what? I'm there for it. Reading a super crazy fantasy book and loving it. I'm going to film myself playing Tabi all right and post it on my channel. I'm going to regret saying this. I regret... Mm -mm. I kind of regret bringing it back, but kind of not, because it's the most fun. Um... It's a great time, though. I'd I'd love everyone to play it, honestly. Just so you know what it's like. I uh, mean, forgive me, ban food talk never. It'll never work because I'll end up I'll end up bringing it up. Well, then, will this next one be the last sprint? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm sure there'll be at least one more after that too. Um, <laughs> this is rude. <laughs> I think I have a piece of the blueberry strawberry cake I made Saturday. Ooh, nice. Barack Obama reads his own book as well. I need to get that one too. I've got a couple of audible credits. I could do that. Denmark, we call afternoon naps and more far, which translates to grandfather. So I guess I was kind of in the same vein about a nana nap, maybe. I believe this. I believe this. Hopefully, yep, yeah, going for at least two more hours. Oh, I'm almost caught up. I love this. I love this for me. I uh, just got home from work, ready to finish Assassin's Blade. You can do it. Um, oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, been here, even though I'm not very active in the chat. We've been taking care of my sister and a poly dog. Oh, Victoria, I mean, thank you so much for being here. But also, I hope I'm helping and giving you all of the positive vibes and that your sister and your pol and her poly dog are doing okay. I've not heard of this. Has anybody else? <laughs> going to do some bookish coloring sheets next spring. Next spring? Oh, next sprint. I was going to say next spring. Spring has just started. So <laughs> next sprint, uh, just looking to relax and unwind. It's a good, it's a good way to do it. Uh, I'm not sure I would pick though either. Crooked King to more Tower of Dawn. Tower of Dawn, I would say, because that's a long series and you're so close to the end. Uh Orthodontist told me that you only need to wear your retainers for two years. And afterwards, okay, so maybe I maybe I subconsciously did that. But I I don't wear them every week though. I've never put them in since. They still feel okay. Home pre-order for Won't Cry As Dawn comes today. I'm sure it will. I hope it will. Uh, in the movie. Uh, snapped in half. Oh, that would... I, I'm scared of that happening because I was a little bit scared of my orthodontist. And he made it sound like I would never get another one if I ever snapped it. He was scary. Had a retainer and because I moved so much, I somehow lost it. Now I wish I had gotten a new one. I mean, you probably still could. Could you still get another one? Uh, when is the premiere, though? I'm thinking of maybe scheduling it for 7 p.m. BST. So 7 p.m. my time, which will be 7, 6, 2 p.m. EST. Should I do it later? I don't know. I don't want to clash with anybody either. I don't want to clash with anyone's live sprints if anybody's doing any. Um, that sounds even more fun. Um, yeah, you'll be able to guess along with us. It's it's great. I uh, tried to make a booktube video, so I cried and had a panic. Oh, Kirsty. It's okay. I uh, heard someone say they are reading the Elton John book. Did you hear he's done a collab with Metallica? I did not. I did not know that. Uh, really need to find the time to make videos again. It's been years. Health and studies came in between. I mean, yeah, that's also, it's a huge part of like people's lives. Honestly, it's, it's a lot, but only when you feel up to it, when your mental health is right and you feel positive enough to do it, then do it. Yeah, I mean, I also don't know how I'm doing it. 
uh, have the Barack Obama one too, have a degree in filmmaking, but have no experience to do it professionally. So it's best to have everything planned. Um, yeah, reading behind her eyes. Uh, okay, I think I'm pretty much start, um, caught up. So we're going to sprint again. Oh, yeah, you made it. Yay. Uh, I'm kind of excited because I've never read the books before. And that means I don't know whether I'm going to love or hate it. Love or hate it. So I am excited for it. I might try and read the books beforehand, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, okay, so I think I'm caught up. Let us sprint again. And this time for 50 minutes, if that's okay. So we will sprint until the hour. Um, I think that is what we can do. So I hope... Oh, and it's your first time. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's Let's read, sprint, produce, do what we need to do.
Hey everyone. Um, these sprints aren't ending just yet. Um, I'm going to do one more sprint after this because uh, it's only 10 p.m. here, and Christine from Any Endings is doing some sprints in two hours' time. So I'm going to do. I think uh, we'll talk for half an hour. Let me know. Well, one, have you got on? But two, I'd love to know what your favorite movie is. Let's let's talk about our favorite movies. Uh, just to get to know one another a little bit better. And um, yeah, so then we'll do another like long sprint and then we'll we'll wrap up in time for Christine to start her sprints later on. Um, but thank you so much to everyone who has tuned in and has gone. So thank you so much, Sasha, for coming. Um, thank you again for coming as well. Oh, made it home. Have a nice glass of wine in my hand. Excellent, Amy. We're going. Well, we're still going to be here for like another hour and a half, two two hours. So make that make that wine last. Savor it. Savor it. Um, finish Truth Witch. Good night. Good night. Thanks for coming. Uh, yes. Good night, Ellen. Uh, put my retainers in. Yay! Yay! That's good. I would try and put mine in, but I again, I'm I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Read almost 100 pages of Truth Witch. 100 left. Pretty sure I can. You will. You will finish it tonight. 70 pages of Persepolis. 17 pages. Finish Clues to the Universe. What are you planning on reading on next? 60 pages, 36. Just start watching the Irregulars, but started to get tired. So my part soon. That's absolutely fine. I uh, got over the 100 page mark of the Empire of Gold. Read 21 pages. Watched V for Vendetta and loved it. I've never seen that one before. Able to be our video uploaded and scheduled for Wednesday, posted on Garden Gram, sipped wine and read 2% of Occulta. You have done so much more than I possibly could have, Ivy, honestly. I'm in awe. 10 pages to finish my book. Oh, if you want to mute me, go ahead, do it. 41 pages, 30 pages, Wheel of Time 5. Hocus Pocus, one of my favourites as well. Honestly, I love Hocus Pocus so much. Um... Oh, yes, I can share a link to any endings, Christine Sprints. Um, let me just get it up on YouTube. I have a reminder sat, but it, YouTube is weird with live shows because it doesn't pop up on your subscription feed. Um, like, it's not like the first one up there. It comes up when it was uploaded kind of thing. And then it's hard to find when it's on your channel. So I can't even click on Christine's channel to find it. So I'm just going to my subscription feed. It should pop up. Um, it is here somewhere. I've definitely seen it. I've definitely seen it. Oh, I found it. Found it. Um, I just had to double check that it was definitely tonight. So copy, paste. Oh, there we go. The link should now be in the chat. Favorite movie of all time, picks of being a wallflower or rent, can't decide. I've seen both. And I enjoy both. I do. I love the music of rent as well. I haven't listened to that soundtrack in a while though. So maybe, maybe that's what I can do. Because last time when we were talking about Legally Blonde, the musical, guess what I did? Listen to the Legally Blonde musical soundtrack about five times a day. So edited six pages of my middle grade fantasy work in progress. Love to say it, Vivian. The Exorcist. How do you feel, Jocelyn, about... Because there was this science thing, this test, where... I have to look at my hair. Where people were uh, put in a room and they had their heartbeat monitored while watching classic horror movies and more modern horror movies to see which was scarier by how much a heart rate would jump during these films i don't know if you've seen that article but i'm sure it was a recent one and it, all of the older films didn't really have that much of a reaction whereas the newer films did but i think that's probably just a generational thing like um when you're watching something that came out years and years and years ago you probably won't be able to i don't know like feel as scared because of the effects or something whereas now special effects and everything are so advanced um, so how do you feel about that, Jocelyn? How do you feel about that? Because I still love the old classics. I love Halloween. I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, they scare me so much, even the original ones. 
And I really like the remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre as well. Favorite movie is The Room. The Room. The Room. I don't know if I've seen that one. Uh, How's Moving Castle. That is such a great film. I think I prefer the film over the book for that one. 100%. 50% of my ebook. All right, Kerry. Like everybody gets so much read during sprints. Um, 20 pages is still fantastic though. So 55 pages of Dead yeah, Justice. Really enjoying it. Favorite movie is Moulin Rouge. Oh my gosh, Chloe. What's your favorite song from it? Um, I'm trying to remember mine now. I think I love the Elephant Love Medley. Maybe that, maybe that's mine. I read 40 pages of the Highland Falcon Thief. Just got off work. Welcome to the madness, Jennifer. Favorite movie is Rocket Man. Didn't really know much about Elton John before I watched it, but now I admire his journey so much and the soundtrack is banging. I was supposed to go to the cinema to say that with a few friends. And then I think I ended up working instead and they saw it without me and they said they didn't really like it that much. But I think I would if I watched it because I love stuff like that. I love, you know, dramatizations of people's lives. And I mean, Elton John's music is fantastic anyway. Lovely Bones, or one of the only book to movies where I think the movie is way better. Nice. That's another good question. Like, do you have any books that you like less than the movie? Maybe. <laughs> Gav saved my evening with these sprints. I just, I mean, I did watch um the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, and that just reminded me superheroes, you know, just want to be your superhero. Halloween Town. Oh, that's such a cute film. I love Disney Channel movie films so much. They are just so good. Um, Halloween Town will be up there for me for Disney Channel movies, but The Cheetah Girls 2 is definitely my favorite, you know, um, Disney Channel movie. And then it'll be like High School Musical 2, the first Cheetah Girls, the first High School Musical, Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Twitches, Twitches 2, Cadet Kelly. Um, the Descendants movies, I love them. I would say I prefer Des Descendants 2 and then maybe 3 and then 1 or 2, 1, 3. I'm not sure. Uh, oh gosh, see, I could talk about movies all day. Pour and a wine at 2 p.m. Do it. It's your day off. Exactly. It's, do it. Do it. I love, yes, I love that, Cassie. Do it. Oh my God, when we did that live show as well for Pucoplathon, oh my gosh. Read 50 pages, but it's middle grade. So, yeah, I mean, this is why I love saving middle grades for sprints because it does make me feel like I've read, like, faster. Favorite movie, I uh, don't really like watching movies, but Kiki's Delivery Service, that is a really cute one. And I would say the book that inspired that movie is just as great as the movie. I mean, the book did come first, but you can tell that Studio Ghibli, like, really took everything that made the book great and ran with it so it's such a great great one star wars five empire strikes back nice i uh, just watched tv my favorite movie is the greatest showman i love that one too the soundtrack though i mean i can kind of i can overlook historical inaccuracy for entertainment and that movie is so inaccurate it's it's unbelievable but but it's one of my favorite popcorn movies. So like, I don't really mind, like I don't have to think too much about it. And I love the songs. What's your favorite song from The Greatest Showman? I, I, I gravitate towards this as me, just as a, a vanilla response. Um, but I also really love, um, what's it called again? Uh, the Other Side. I love The Other Side. And also Rewrite the Stars. That's such a, oh, I love that one so much. Shark Tale. I haven't seen that film in ages. Hotel Transylvania. Did you like the sequels of Hotel Transylvania, Jess? Because I think all of them are really entertaining. Um, I think, just from what I remember, I remember in Hotel Transylvania 2, there was a scene where they're singing Fifth Harmony, and I love that. I love that so much. 60 pages read. Go, Meg. Uh, there's too many good movies for me to pick. Just one. I mean, tell me about it. There's loads. Um, you all made me put my retainers in. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's jumped again and it's hidden all of the comments before this one. So this is the earliest comment I can see. So if you if you've said your favorite movie before this, let me know because it just jumped. 
86 pages. Then I'm going to finish my book in the next one. You will. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I love, love, love Pirates of the Caribbean so much. Oh, my gosh. Like, the second one is, like, almost everyone's least favorite sometimes. But it's one of my favorites. I love the second one. Became re obsessed with the 1997 Cinderella with Brandy Whitney Houston. I still need to watch that on Disney Plus. I watched it years ago. I need to rewatch it, but it is a great one. Favorite movies Back to the Future. Going to be rereading Exile. Fell asleep and a bit confused right now. That's fine. That's me. That's just me. And I don't even need to fall asleep to be confused. The Decoy Bride. Oh, I've not seen that one. Cheesy rom com. There for it. Read Ninth House. Accomplish another section of my political science chapter. I love it. 70% of A Court of Silver Flames. Favourite film is possibly Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, Craft, or Interview with a Vampire. I'm sensing a theme here. And I love it. I love the aesthetic. I love all of them. Out of those, Nightmare Before Christmas, watch every year. Um, Corpse Bride, I'll watch every now and then. Still a great film. The Craft, though. That one, no, that's 90s nostalgia, that is. Oh, God. Love The Craft. Hester wouldn't say would be depressing, but I'm laughing so much. Oh, yeah, it's not a sad, sad book at all. It's a really uplifting, whimsical, really beautiful book. Fave movie Sisters, which I love Tina Fey and Amy Paula. Them two is a, a comedy duo. They're the best. Made progress on my essay. That's you on Friday. Favorite movie is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Which one? Is it the remake one? The one that came out with Johnny Depp or the one with, is it Gene Wilder? Because I grew up on the Gene Wilder one, and I am obsessed with that one from, from when I was little. Swapping so back and forth between the Telltale Heart and editing a video. Got through 40 pages and a nice chunk of my video. I got, I've edited now 10 minutes and 35 seconds. So I edited like four minutes in that last sprint. <laughs> and then I made some toast and quickly ate before I came back because I was feeling really hungry. Uh, favorite movie is Roman Holiday with Audrey Hepburn. I've not watched that one. You've got Mail. I'm not seen it. But that's a bit of an older one, isn't it? I love older films. 23 pages and trying to figure out my supper. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Gemma, yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I love Mrs. Doubtfire so, so much. Oh, I miss Robin Williams so much as well. Oh, God. He was an incredible actor. Uh, page 242 of Verity, You Will Finish, 40 Pages of Truth Witch, can't decide what my favourite movie is. Favourite movie, Mamma Mia 1. Mamma Mia 2 is rubbish, I would disagree. I'd say Mamma Mia 2 was really good. It made me so sad and emotional. The songs are just banging. I mean, Mamma Mia 1 is a classic. Let's not lie, it's a classic. But I, I Mamma Mia 2 is such a, again, a popcorn film. You don't have to think too much about it. Um, it's a bit like Sex in the City too, you know? It's not a great film, but it's an entertaining popcorn film. Yeah, I'm glad you finished your book. Oh, Stand By Me, nice. Uh, 46 pages in Crooked Kingdom, 51 pages of A Cost, favourite movie, House Moon Castle, Key is Delivery Service. We're seeing a lot of uh, Ghibli and Disney films in this. I love it. Me, read Middle Grade more often you do. It is magical. Uh, which is so weird, as I said. So weird. Uh, was that a Disney Channel movie? So weird. It rings a bell, that. Uh, a Full Love Story by Lorne Err. Oh, amazing. Dishes done and 12 pages of Patsy Red. Nearly at the 300 mark. Favourite movie is Crazy Stupid Love. Yeah, Paris of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, something positive, one of my best friends messaged me. She's been super busy for a few days and my depression convinced me. Oh, isn't it so like reassuring when a friend does reach out who you think, oh, maybe there's just like something's happened and you just weren't aware of. But actually, it's just it's just something that is um, probably more internal than an actual reality. I love that, Kirsty. I love that for you. Almost a 100 pages at the year of the witching. Favorite movie of all time is Legally Blonde. I need that musical version of it to be made into a proper like film and then released. Because I love Legally Blonde. Such a great film. Push. I've never seen that one. Dakota Fanning and Chris Evans. Oh, it's got talent in it. I'll tell you that. It's got talent. Oh, no worries. Thanks for coming. Although that was 11 minutes ago. Uh, currently putting books away. Nice. Favourite film is Saved. <laughs> There's the uh, the link to Christine's live sprints later. I, if you want it, you're going to have to come and rip it off my body. <laughs> but you can get it on 
on the website. It's a little a little, little like, pricey. 21 pages of Cinder, favorite movies Inception. Got face mask on. Rated Dragon Salantress or Caught Down the Hawk. And none of these sound very snuggly. I would say Elantris, maybe, if I had to pick. I've not read any of them, again. But if anybody else in the chat said, go with what they said. 18% of a cost. Loving it, yes. Hocus Pocus, yes. Binks. Oh. Jake finally got out of the bath. That was a long bath. That was a long-ass bath. I hope he washed it out after himself. I hope he washed it out after himself as well. Because guys don't do that. You have to tell them, wash it out. I don't want all that hair and dirt in there. Wash it out. Love me. Yes, me too. Favorite movies are Love Jones. Uh, love Rent and the Soundtrack. Yes. Have you seen Hairspray? Yes. Uh, it is an amazing musical. I've seen the film, but I haven't seen the Broadway or anything version of it. Good film. Good film. Greatest Showman. Lord of the Rings. Don't like fantasy much, but you love the movies. I watched them for the first time a few years back. All the way through. I did used to watch them like little bits and bobs every now and then, but I never sat and watched a full film of it. Those are long. Oh, hi to France. Uh, re really bad at picking a favourite. Um, Forrest Gump. I don't think I've seen that one. Do you hear me? I'm sorry. Film my video and my favourite movie is It Chapter 1. It Chapter 1 was so good and so scary. It Chapter 2 was not as good. It had moments, but and it's, it made me cry as well. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh, I love that one. Is that no? That might not be the one I'm thinking of. Is that the one that came out in like 1992? And it was, it had the theme tune, everything I do, I do it for you. Is that the one? Or is it, oh, I think that one might be Prince of Thieves. Hmm. Uh, can I count all of stuff? You can. Also, Cinderella. Yeah, I mean, it's a great story. Yeah, Hugh Jackman. Mm. Favorite films, Inception. We got another Inception. Marvel. Oh, God. Anything Marvel. Yes. 100%. I haven't been watching the, the Winter Soldier. No. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I have not been watching it yet. Watched the first episode. Enjoyed it. I might binge the rest of it when it finishes airing. That's what I might do. Favorite movie is Cool Intentions. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Sarah Michelle Gellar in that film. And um, is it Selma Blair? Amazing. Uh, read about 12 pages, now sleepy. Fair films are when Harry met Sally and the Lord of the Trings, Lord of the Rings trilogy extended. It's the only way I can watch them. Uh, where is, oh, it's from um, Udi. Um, I'll write in the chat. Udi.co.uk, I think. I think it's .co.uk. It might be .com. A science thing. Yeah, I know. It's like, but if you... It's hard because times have changed and I can tell like for those really old horror films that came out in the seventies that they would have terrified people. So if you had have taken the test then compared to the films now, it's not, I don't think it's a really fair test. While you are sitting, one of your faves, nice, big Marvel fan, Sky High, Made in Dagenham, No Reservations, Stardust and generally disaster movies. I have not seen a good disaster movie in a long time i've watched a few but some of them have been quite like not very well made um i might just be watching the wrong movies what's been one of your favorite disaster movies i've seen like 2012 the day after tomorrow there was one with a crocodile and it had the girl from skins in i can't chaos care scatter that was really good actually I can't remember what it's called, but it had alligators and there was a flood. That was a really good one, actually. That might be the last good one I watched. That was like a disaster movie. Spotlight. Love the last Joker film. Haven't watched it yet. A Marvel film. Matrix. Mamma Mia. Le Legally Blonde. It's a hard question. I'm sorry for asking. Yes. Elephant Love Medley. Amazing. Uh, line between horror and comedy is worryingly thin. There's a bit in The Exorcist that just made me laugh. There are some moments that are just so ridiculous um, that I... Like, I think uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one, the original one, I couldn't stop laughing throughout that. And I, there are scary moments, but I still, I couldn't stop laughing. And I think maybe that's kind of the point, but kind of not. I just found, yeah, I found it too funny. Nightmare Before Christmas. Hi, Kitty. Rocket Man. Oh, on Netflix next month. That's what, I'll, that's what I'm watching. Don't know about the studies, but horror oldies I love. Nightmare on Elm Street, The Prophecy, The First Saw. Oh, God, The Saw movies. I loved the first two, I think, and I liked a couple of the other ones. 
Um, Hugo, based on the invention of the of Hugo Cabaret. I've seen that book. It's a huge book. I've just sprayed everywhere from excitement. Sorry about that. I will. I will. Oh, Tar oh Taron. Oh, he is one of my ultimate crushes, him. Gorgeous, gorgeous man. Mm. Love the Girl Interrupted movie, but didn't like the book. Had a stressful day at work. Oh, I hope it gets better for you now. Favorite movie is Pride and Prejudice, the 2005 version. There's not a single bad thing in that movie. Everything's perfect. Did you know, this is like a shameless plug, did you know that I interviewed Tamsin Merchant recently for The Hat Makers? But she was in that film, Pride and Prejudice, the 2005 version. She was in it. And I interviewed her a couple of weeks back. Just a little plug. Need the cider cut. It was on Sky, um, Sky Cinema. So I got to watch it. And I really enjoyed it. I liked it so much better than the, the version that came out before. So much better. I was bored for the first version of it. And that was way shorter. This one is like four hours long. And it was really entertaining. I liked it a lot. Just got home from work. Rushed to take a shower so I could put these sprints on. Well, we're still going to be doing another sprint. So don't worry. <laughs> So Charlie Soul can immediately name a fave movie. I'm I you know what I haven't mentioned mine. I would probably say like now you put me on the spot actually. Um like Titanic. Ugh. Maybe Titanic is one of my favorite movies of all time. Is that really sad for me to say? I do love Titanic and Hocus Pocus and Frozen. Those were in The Little Mermaid. I would watch Little Mermaid to help make me feel better when I was a kid. Every time I was off, you know, school for being sick, I would put the Little Mermaid on my VHS tape. I would have, um, what was it that I used to have? I think it was either cereal or toast. And I would just, I would be right as rain after one watching of that. A Stephen King for me is better in movie form. Misery, book was boring, movie was amazing. Also loved the Mist movie. I haven't seen the Mist movie, but I loved the Misery movie. <gasps> Kathy Bates in that movie, incredible. 28 pages. Favorite movie is If I Stay. Um, is If I Stay. Favorite Disney movie is Aristocrats. Nice. I never hear people say Aristocrats that much. Cadet Kelly, amazing, a fantastic one. Really like Robin Hood movie from 2018 and King Arthur. Though the Twitches movies were super, they are cute. It's why I like a lot of the Disney Channel films. They're just cute. Like they're not like they're not the best movies I'll ever watch. I mean, although to me, the Cheetah Girls two is, but they're just like cute. They're fun. They've got great soundtracks. Favorite movies of all time: Smiths. Nice and Pitch Perfect. Oh, I love Pitch Perfect so much. Zenon or is it Xenon? Best adaptation: Netflix. Oh, I love. It. Love the Netflix adaptation of A Series of Unfortunate Events. Love it so much. I am still trying to finish off reading the book series. I started reading it two years ago. Literally, I think it was the 31st of March. Because I think it was the very last day of March when I read the first book. So it'll be my two-year anniversary of starting that series. I still haven't finished it. But the TV show I watched when they first aired, like when Netflix dropped each season... I was obsessed and so much better than the books, I think. I feel, in my opinion, I agree with you, Alicia. Um, not a fan of gory horror movies. If a movie is made well, then special effects should matter. That is true. Uh, like not only the story, but how The Exorcist was made. Really interesting. That is true. Um, there was one that I recently watched. It's on Shudder, which is on Amazon Prime. It was like the evil and the wicked or something like that it was set in a really small house and a brother and sister came home to because um their dad was ill and their mother's like struggling to look after him i think it's like the evil and the wicked or something like that that i mean it, no i don't think it's got any special effects in it it's like it's just so well done it's super suspenseful scary in all the right places oh, i love suspense more than gory horror uh, what's it, Prime Prejudice 2005? Yay! Avalon High is my favorite Disney Channel movie, most because I adore the book it's based on. I haven't watched it and I haven't read it. Opinion on Lemonade Mouth, haven't watched it. <laughs> I should. I wanted to watch all of the Disney Channel movies back to back, like from start to finish, but I think there's still a couple that aren't on Disney Plus, so I'm waiting for all of them to be on there. I think there's still two that are missing. Designer movies are life. Mm. I listen to 
the Descendants 3 soundtrack a lot recently. And from that soundtrack, mainly Queen of Mean, Do What You Gotta Do, My Once Upon a Time. From the second film, I would say Space Between, Chillin' Like a Villain, What's My Name. Those are my top three in that, that film. Then the first film, If Only, is my favorite, Evil Like Me. And the, the first film doesn't really have that many songs, does it? Did I mention that I'm in love with you? Maybe that one. I uh, get bad taste in my mouth when I think about watching the Snyder Cut. Oh, why? Favorite movies, Coraline. Favorite Disney Channel movies, Get a Clue. Disney favorites are so similar. Yay, we are, we are twinning. Ritual is definitely better as a movie. It's a horror story. A book has zero atmosphere because of what the author tried with the writing. Ah, it's um, that sounds awkward for the author. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Us, oh my god, us. That terrified me. That terrified me. Such a fantastic film. Oh my gosh, I was terrified, and the fact that it could probably happen as well. I mean. Cadet Kelly is solid by Raise Your Camp Rock. The second movie of that is just ridiculous, though. The amount of like memes I've seen from Camp Rock 2. Camp Rock 2 is only good because of the memes. And the TikToks. And the Vines or whatever it was, you know? That is the only reason why Camp Rock 2 is any good. <laughs> Favorite movie is The Challenge uh, or This Means War. Um, Caroline, yes. Adore The Greatest Showman. Kirsty, you've got taste. Um, oh, I jumped again. Anything before this comment, I've lost. I'm sorry. Going through all the Disney movies at the minute, have a checklist. I watched all of them back to back, all the uh, animated movies back to back, a few years back. And just because I wanted to rank them, and I did a video of it on, on YouTube before I came a booktube channel, and it got like... 100,000 views, but it had copyrights left, right, and center. So I had to delete it like about over a year ago now. And I'm so gutted about that because I was so proud of that video. I did so much research to make sure that I was ranking it fairly. It was from Snow White to Moana because I made this back in like 2016, 2017, I think. The Craft. Finding Dory is a good sequel. Oh, the Christmas Prince and the Frog, 10 Things I Hate About You. Uh, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. N never seen that. Cat from Outer Space. Yeah, any film with Robin Williams. Can't believe this is how far behind I am. Sorry, guys. We'll sprint again in like eight ish minutes and we'll do another long one and then we'll wrap up. Uh, Nanny McPhee. I've never seen the second Nanny McPhee. I've only seen the first. Any of the Star Wars, Serenity, Old Tarantino, uh, Prophecy, Exorcist, Nightmare on Elm Street 1. Uh, v for Vendetta. Matilda. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I prefer the movie to the book, too. Who yes, who, who dares? When I Kiss the Teacher is a moment. It is a moment. Also, Super Trooper. And it has Cher in it. It has Cher in it. Oh, 13 going on 30. Yes. Yeah, I cried, too. If I Stay, Disney Movies, Aristocrats, Lily James, like, literally, that's the start and end of it, is Lily James. Uh, oh, Ali from Hardback Court is here. The comments from before that comment before got wiped because it jumped. I'm sorry. I'm quickly trying to save it streaming on anything because I'll have to watch it now. What did what did Ali say? What did Ali say? I totally missed it. I'm so sorry. Uh, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia 2, House Moon Castle, Spirited Away. Oh, if somebody can tell me books that feel like spirited away, let me know. I'm sure actually there is, I might have taken a screenshot of it, but somebody said, and it's up an upcoming middle grade that feels like spirited away. I've got it written down somewhere. I'll try and find out. Unpopular opinion, prefer Mamma Mia 2? I probably prefer some of the songs in Mamma Mia 2. Mamma Mia, oh, I don't know anymore. This is a hard debate. Robin Williams, V for Vendetta, Matilda, Lily James, Studio Ghibli Films are oh, iconic. Oh, I love that. Labyrinth, Saved, an underrated teen classic, never seen it. Push, Push, got a couple of pushes right off the bat there. Um, doo -doo. Favorite movies, Lord of the Rings, Legally Blonde. We've got, we're getting quite a few of the same here. I love it. It means we all have similar tastes. There's an MTV recording. Yes, I think the first time I ever watched 
that, it was through the MTV recording, and that's how I discovered it. I didn't realize it was on YouTube, though, because I'm talking like the, the last time I watched that was like 10 years ago. Can't remember what it was on. Maybe Vimeo. Favorite movies, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. That is an underrated Disney movie, as is Treasure Planet. Atlantis, Atlantis. Oh, that's what people are saying to, to read. Uh, Wedding Planner, not seen it. Almost on my 78th book. Wow, well done. I thought Udi was just hoodie in your accent. I would have said hoodie if it was an Udi. No, I would have said a hoodie, Udi. I say I say what you mean now. <laughs> Didn't like Major Dragons to call down the hawk. Oh, oh, we had to make a music composition. That's awesome. Uh, Lord of the Rings is a commitment. It's true. Uh, loved a Quiet Place, Bird Box, Hush, Zombie Land 1 and 2. Oh, oh, it had Mormons. It had Mormons. Mormons. Again, this is my accent. <laughs> uh, a singing mash show. Could you imagine me and Jay doing that? Jay can write the lyrics and the backup singing because obviously I'm the only singer here. Okay. Okay. But Jade can write the lyrics and do the back and vocals because she is the Michelle to my Beyonce. Uh, thought of another favorite, the half of it. Nice. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh, and Jade, speaking of Jade, she's finally in the bath. Uh, may have to go soon because I've written a thousand words of dissertation today and severely lagging. Oh, I hope we helped it somewhat. We will be sprinting in four minutes. Four minutes. I'm all, I'm not almost caught up, but I'm going to have to try and pick this up. Lake Placid, that's not the one I was thinking of, but I've heard of that one. Uh, Knives Out, still need to watch that. Piranha 3D. Emma, Little Women, Knives Out. I really want to watch Knives Out. I think that's on Sky Cinema. <gasps> Crawl! That's the movie with the alligators. It's Crawl. Yes, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Cruel Intentions, San Andreas. Oh, yes. I have seen that one. Yeah, I like that one. I also remembered it had Kylie Minogue in it, too. <laughs> Game of Thrones, Disaster Movies of the Best, Volcano, Volcano. I love that one. It's a bit of an order one, that one. Uh, Deep Impact, Day After Tomorrow, Dante's Peak. Favorite movies are Casper. Oh, my gosh. That scene... The dancing scene. Honestly, I had the biggest crush on what's his name again? Is it Devin? Dewan? It was in Final Destination as well. He played the human Casper. I had such a crush on him when I was a kid. Honestly, Jurassic Park. That is one of my favorite films as well. It's like Titanic, Jurassic Park, Hocus Pocus, Frozen, Little Mermaid. Um, Re Rear Window. I like, I love old Alfred Hitchcock films because I really enjoyed The Birds and Psycho. Good night. Um, oh, Junior Bridesmaid. Nobody's Come to Sweeney Todd. Um, I've seen it. I wouldn't say it's a favorite though. It is good. From Cozy to Horror. Oh my gosh, yes. The later it gets here, we can start telling spooky stories and talk about horror films. <laughs> Um, good night, just made the bath, Matilda, nostalgia line that's in the wardrobe, Little Mermaid, Aristocrats, um, yeah, day after tomorrow, The Wave, ooh, I'll have to write that one down, Sword in the Stone, Disney Channel movies, um, I will watch Ablin High, I will, Dirty Dancing, Havana Nights, I only ever seen the original Dirty Dancing, I didn't realise it was a Havana Nights, Atlantis, Titanic, I mean, it was mine. Uh, um, if you could turn any book into a movie series, what would it be? Um, a book into a movie series. Hmm. Amelia Fang. That would make a great TV series or movie series. Um, Frost Top. <laughs> movie series. Day night movies, six days, seven nights, romance in the Storm Deadpool. Yes, it's a great adaptation. Yes, Pride and Prejudice. Hatmakers, Tamsin Merchant. Did the series Unfortunate Events get cancelled? No, it just ended because it it used all of its source material. It didn't need to go any further than that. Um, so it just ended at a very natural point. Um, I will. I oh my god, yeah, that's actually another that's another thing. I tease Cody about finishing Count of Monte Crystal, which he has finished now, and I still haven't finished the series Unfortunate Events. Jurassic Park, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, reading Throne of Glass. Oh, good. Favorite adaptation. <gasps> Worship Down. That's like brutal. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Burlesque. I love the Burlesque soundtrack as well. You haven't seen the last of me. 
Uh, right, it jumped again, but I... Uh, okay, Rian the Last Dragon. Um, that is a really great one. Uh, we'll be spending again soon, I promise. If you play games, Little Nightmares. Yes, I've been playing through that. I have yet to finish. Jade has been summoned. Uh, yeah, <laughs> spread away as Jade's. Uh, Love Mamma Mia 2, first one. Oh, yeah. Enchanted. That is not on Disney Plus as well, and I need it on Disney Plus. Uh, we will be spreading in a second, I promise. Honey with Jessica Alba, favorite Disney films, Moana. Frozen 2 is better than Frozen 1. I think I kind of agree with that. I think I do. Um, I'm going to have to watch them back to back, though. Uh, Moni was there. Love that one. Yes, Jade. Yes. Have you heard me singing Take My Breath Away? Have you heard it? It's amazing. The Mummy. Oh my god, The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. I love those two films so much. Prom, Mighty Ducks. Uh, favorite Disney films, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Don't be so rude. I'm sorry. These are my sprints. So that can be as rude as I want. Are you excited for Hocus Pocus 2? Kind of, kind of not. I'm terrified because I love Hocus Pocus so much. I just don't know if they're going to make it well. It's been too long. I want the original actresses, but I know they're not going to look the same. And it'll ruin the illusion of the Sanderson sisters. I'm torn. Uh, Mexi oh, I did not know that, but that'll be really good. Devon Sawa. I probably said that wrong, but yes, I love him. I mean, I was obsessed with him as a kid. I haven't seen anything he's been in recently. Frozen 2. <laughs> Jurassic Park, yes. Uh, Tell things about you. We will be spending a second. I promise. Um, from the Quiet Pond. Books to read if you like Ghibli. Ooh, ooh, you'll have to link it. Parasite, House Moon Castle, Havana Nights. I haven't read this one yet, but I'm, I own it and I'm going to read it. Yep, sobbed, broke down. Mm. Amazing. The Lesk, Matilda, mine too. Uh, Moana. Moana is amazing. Rock of Ages, uh, doo -doo, Tangled, Frozen 2, <laughs> Never Ending Story, Labyrinth, E.T., Frozen 2. Can I just point out, Dem, you always are horrible to me in these chats. Just just point that out there as well, just soon. Uh, but I love it. I love it, really. Uh, will you watch the Akatar adaption? Yes. Yes, I will. I feel the Throne of Glass or the Lunar Chronicles. The Lunar Chronicles, yes, also. Um, we are about to sprint, so we're not talking about anything anymore. But it was favorite movies, movies to book adaptations, book to movies adaptations, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, let's sprint again. Let's sprint and let's sprint for until half past. Let's sprint till the 30 minute mark, um, which is a nice longish sprint. Hopefully I'll get a lot edited during that. Hopefully you guys will get a lot re read. Um, but yeah, see you guys very soon. Also, if you're leaving, good night.
that was the last sprint. How did you all do? I just want to say goodbye to everybody who has gone. <laughs> Anyone know what time this is going till? It'll never end. It'll never end. <laughs> that was the last sprint. Um, but I did put a link to Christine's live show in the chat. Um, or you can go to any endings channel and the sprints will be happening in half an hour's time. So if you don't want to stop sprinting, that is happening. Um, but how did we all do? I managed to get to, well, I managed to edit 10 minutes in that one. I am definitely more in the part where it's a bit easier to edit because I've now edited two rounds of Pleo TV, all right? And just have two more rounds to go. So also, it got to 11 minutes before I even started the first round. Is that too long? Because I do talk about all the books that I have to read first. And then my Patreon live, Pleo TV, all right. And the four books I have to read from that. And then the four rounds. So we're 20 minutes in. I have played two rounds. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, it'll never end. I uh, made it to page 200. Got about 50 pages red paint in my nails. Amazing. 82 pages, 18. No reading tonight, but um, got quite a bit of an IEP written for a student. Productive, productive. So I haven't finished a whole book in these sprints. Oh, I'm so glad you started and finished one. That's incredible. 54, 16 pages, made an eight supper. Nice. 46, red 40, red 16. Anytime. Anytime. I am absolutely thrilled. I mean, I say anytime, any Monday. <laughs> Glad I caught the end of this. Read about 26 pages. 6% of an Elantris. Uh, just, just relax this sprint. I like that. I like that a lot. Relaxation sprints. Anytime, Claudia. I read 13% of a book arc I am reading called The Borrow, A Bookshop Holiday. That sounds really cute and cozy. That sounds really nice. Five pages left. Oh, five pages left. Mute me. Mute me and come back. I uh, washed my hair and listened to an audiobook. I didn't read, did some homework, got some chocolate. Yes. Um, for now, yes, you will see me next uh, Monday. I don't know what's happening with work. So I don't know if I'm going back or not. Um, because they haven't said anything. I don't know if I'm still gonna be furloughed. So I mean, yes, I think next Monday is still fine. I'm not 100% sure after that because I don't know if I'll be working or not. So I will let you guys know, though, as soon as I know. I'll let you know in the community tab on YouTube and on, like, Twitter and Instagram. Plan to sleep during the sprint. Ended up reading the whole part. Amazing. <laughs> you obviously didn't want the sleep. Got 100 pages in it, say, Monsters. Ended up DNFing a new book. Probably not a permanent DNF. I mean, temporary DNFs are absolutely allowed um book two of a series red book one too long ago i forgot you know what i had the same problem with a darkness of dragons i read the first book like three years ago now and i tried to read the second book in february i just couldn't because i'd forgotten too much there is a recap at the start but i was like I'm not feeling it right now. I need to, I think I need to reread the first one first. And I love the first one so much from what I remember. Didn't read anything but have a FaceTime with my sister. Yay, Emily. We do love a long TBR. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Finished Truth Witch. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, I'm so glad, Tamara. I hope you enjoyed all of it. Oh, hi. I uh, probably didn't say hi. And thanks for meeting Mari, the middle grade book of March. Oh, hi, Vivi Alston. Thank you so much for popping in. Um, Oh, wait, I mean, considering pretty much everyone gave it four or five stars, it's the most beloved middle grade book that we've ever had for Middle Grade Monthly. 5% of Ready Player One audiobook and eight pages of Behind Her Eyes. Got another two sections of political science done. 83%? You will finish. You will. Only 30 pages left on chapter 33 of Truth Witch. You got the job. You got the job. Amazing. Dream job. Oh, no, that's amazing. I don't care if you've missed the sprints. I mean, you got the job. You got the job. You drove 19.5 hours to look at apartments these past couple of days. Wow. But on a... Congratulations. I'm, I'm made up for you. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Uh, I think 11 minutes is fine. Uh, oh, no worries. Uh, no worries. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I do still make it fun. I do have a little bit editing wizardry at the start and stuff. And uh, I, I do drink a cocktail during it. I do have my strawberry daiquiri. You know, it just takes 11 minutes to actually start playing the game, which I hope isn't too long because I, I will premiere it tomorrow, probably around 7 p.m. BST. It's just, yeah. I mean, to be fair, um, I'm 20 minutes in. I might get the overall video down to under half an hour. So, listen to a couple of chapters. Actually, no issue. I know, right? 50 pages, nothing's too long. 44 pages. Uh, you could post an hour long TBR. I'm sure most of us would watch. Well, thank you. I don't think it'll be that long, um, but I won't premiere an hour long video for long. Um, anytime. I uh, read exactly zero pages. Look to plane tickets for my trip to Russia next year. I would. I know what I prefer to be doing. I prefer to be doing what you're doing. Six percent done. Thirty-two percent into full love story. Got another thirty-six pages read and only have seven minutes left to edit my video. Incredible. Uh, only seven. Oh my gosh, you've killed it. Have one hour twenty minutes left of Titan's Curse audiobook. We'll see if I can manage to finish it before sleep. I'm sure you will. Longer the video, the better, in my opinion. I agree, Lisha. Nothing is too long. <laughs> really taking these comments the wrong way. <laughs> I didn't want to say it out loud. I didn't want to say it out loud, but I was thinking it. Read some of Bowie, a David Bowie biography graphic novel. Ooh. Wrote a chapter, Gemma. Incredible. Yes. And it's probably the best chapter ever. Finished my graphic novel. It was the last in the Lock and Key. Definitely recommend. I do want to read Lock and Key. I do. It sounds really good. And it was made into a TV show, right? Read a few pages and then wrote some things down for a bit. Nice. Long videos are my favorite. I do love long reading vlogs, um, but TBR videos, I don't know. No reading, just watch TV to wind down from work, make dinner, and uh, when this is done and read a bit later. Incredible, yes. Uh, would highly recommend Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. Oh, thanks for, thanks for letting us know. Love long vids, go for it. I uh, just became a page. Oh, thank you so much, Jess. Um, Yay, I'm glad you found my channel. You don't have to join my Patreon, but thank you for um, being part of my channel. Just started the island and got 67 pages in. Night, oh, thank you so much for coming along, Kirsty. Favorite part of Mondays. I missed you guys so much. Are you participating in Readathon? Readathon, yes, I am. I am. And I talk about what I could potentially read for that Readathon in my TBR video. Started and nearly finished my book in these sprints. Thank you for getting rid of my reading slump. Yes, kick that reading slump out the door. We don't want it here. I'm going to head home from work or oh, anytime and safe journey home. Safe journey home. Easter Monday next weekend, so no work. Oh, yes, it is Easter Monday. That is true. So definitely next Monday. After that, I don't know. Unless you guys want me to be on here for Easter Monday. I mean, what if you guys want to do something on Easter Monday? I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. I don't think I'm doing anything on Easter Monday. Just found a really beautiful butterfly. Oh, I really getting into Truth Witch. Oh, see, it just takes a little bit of perseverance. Uh, good morning. Have been more organized next week. Uh, catch up with you. Oh, nice. Oh, I mean, I, I know these sprints do um, clash a lot, a lot with um, people's schedules. I do apologize for that. Got some work done. Yay. Might be the first sprint I get to be. Oh, and we've just finished. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, writing poetry. Don't know how much I read, but I think I'll finish during Christine's sprints. Yes. Again, they start in 20 minutes. Didn't read anything. I can't, Do I still have the link? Copy and paste it. No, no. Um, didn't read anything. I ended up doing some editing work on my day off. It's. I love that, Maria. Now on page 696 of 864 of the Goldfinch, uh, I hasten to add I have not read all those pages this evening. I was going to say 696 pages in these sprints. Amazing. But the writing is Chef's Kiss. I've not read it, but it sounds really good. When did the sprints end? These are going to end after I catch up with your comments. <laughs> I didn't read much in sprints, but I got my shower and a project done. I mean, the shower, again, important, and the project is done. Uh, made by Elton John is a really good celebrity autobiography. The audiobook is narrated by, it's narrated by Taron Egerton. I don't know how to say his last name, but I, do you know how much I love him? I didn't find Taron Egerton on Apple Music. Oh my God. That was Siri. Siri, come on. 
I didn't find Taron Edgerton on Apple Music. I don't want. And did you see me get the shock of my life there? I literally just shit myself. Oh, I can't imagine the horrible face I pulled on that. Uh, lovelies all, thank you so much for coming. Uh, uh, do you want any some Monday? I mean, if you if you guys aren't doing anything, I could still do one. Finish all the wandering light anytime. I'm glad I could help you through. I uh, don't celebrate Easter, so I'll be there. Thanks, them. Uh, Easter Monday sprints. It looks like it's going to have to happen. Uh, we'll have the video to look forward to when you get home from work. You will. You will. Uh, off work and could join the whole time. Yay. Uh, oh, good night, Anna. Cozy sprints sound perfect for you. To be fair, there's cozy sprints for Easter Monday. So I have a week's holiday. Oh, nice, Rachel. Nice. Be eating chocolate Monday. Be eating chocolate Monday. So sprints and chocolate. But sprints and chocolates. And maybe wine. Maybe wine. Thank you for the sprints. It was my first time. I'm so glad, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for coming. Just discovered sprints this weekend, and this helped me so much. Yay, Melissa. Siri scared me too. I literally shit myself. Uh, can I have an Easter cocktail? That is a good shout. I'm going to Google Easter cocktails and make it for... Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Taryn Edgerton. So it's Edgerton, as if it was Edge. Okay. That makes sense. I'm crazy about him too, Ellie. I mean, I know I couldn't pronounce his last name, but I'm still crazy about him. Okay. Absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> Please do Easter Monday. I will. Thank you so much for coming, Gemma. Thank you. Thank you, Becca. Um, so glad they helped make Mondays better. You guys make my Mondays better. Have you ever had the Shark Caller by Zilla Bethel? It's now my one of my favorite middle grades. I haven't, but I own it. I do own it. It's brand new. It only came out in like what, February, maybe March. Um, but I do have it, and I will definitely be reading it. I, I love the sound of it. I love the sound of it. Something about going to the bottom of the ocean to recover a treasure or something, but one of the girls wants to be a shark caller or something like that. It just sounds really good. Um, is a rabbit face mask for us all to wear on Easter. Oh, my God. I might say if there's any Easter face masks I can wear, they're like my Cruella de Vil one. Good night, Katie. Anytime, Sarah. Uh, need lots of chocolate next Monday. Yes, we do. I'll probably have loads left from Easter Sunday. Um, yes. Oh, there's so many people in this chat who loves reading. Yeah. Oh, my God. My shop. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say that. I just spat again. Always want a cozy sprint. Oh, yes. Okay. I will do one on Easter Monday. You've got it. You've got it. Any time. Good night. Uh, happy joining Easter Monday. Good. Yeah, for the sprints. Thank you for the sprints. Anytime. So I think I'm at the end of the comments. Thank you so much for joining. Again, we have Christine from Any Endings doing sprints in 15 minutes if you want to go on Any Endings channel. And yeah, that thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Monday. Love you all. Take care. Have the best week possible.